In the ominous labyrinths of the Drenarthi district, our pursuit of a eulogist twisted into a trap. A colossal, nightmarish being crafted from flesh, towering 20 feet tall. An arduous struggle ensued, with Arcturus succumbing before our relentless assault finally felled the grotesque creature. As its monstrous form crumbled, so did the illusion of our torment. I'm doing well, my part! Still bearing the marks of battle in the shop's sanctuary. Utilizing my skills alone, we swiftly mended our wounds, eager to shake off the lingering horrors that haunted our thoughts. Yet, before the nightmare's tendrils completely released us, a spectral voice reverberated. I can assist you, but seek me amidst the mist, whispered, whispered by a radiant apparition. Our search for this enigmatic presence commenced when, where the nightmare's grip had loosened, the haunting grounds of Drenarthi. Our journey led us to the district's northern fringes, where a contingent of Warforged stood sentinel. Striking a pact, we liberated some of their kin, forging an alliance that granted us passage to the elusive figure we fervently sought. Well, that didn't translate well, but yeah. <laughs> Small correction, we have not liberated their kin yet. Nope. <laughs> or, or, for that matter, been granted passage to where their, the elusive figure is. Uh, that is to be decided. So, uh, you guys have just watched a small cadre of Warforged crawl out of the sewers and made friends with who appears to be their leader. Um, I believe when we were left off, you, you, you had just, uh, you had just managed to, uh, get him to... We, we, agree we agreed to assault a warehouse in exchange for him show uh, introducing us to the light. Yes. Um, so, so... He didn't agree to introduce you to the light. He, as he's shaking Arcturus' hand, because I did that that bro wrist shake, handshake thing, he goes, You can call me Light. I welcome your aid. Uh, the, the patchwork Warforged is indeed Light himself. Oh. Well, that changes things. Alright. So... Uh, he he points at one warehouse and he and uh, he tells you that that's the warehouse that he and his men were uh, were about to raid, um, and he points at one a, f uh, uh, a few buildings down the road and he says uh, there are more there. Before we didn't have the manpower to to save all of them, but with your raid, we can do so now. And he, he pretty much explains to you, uh, he needs you to go to the warehouse and just stop them from loading up a truck full of Warforged and sending them off to the Sky Docks. Um, he, he, he tells you that um, the Genorthi have a plot. Uh, they have made some contract with someone outside the city. And they've begun, they've begun shipping Warforged off to a third-person buyer. They don't have the stock to immediately meet their demand, so they've started this buyback program. Where they can take Warforged from their current customers under the guise of refurbishment, and then sell them to someone else, and then simply give the customer a customer give them a a new warforged and try to pass it off as the old well i don't happen to draw many particular moral lines but i think you'll be you can rest assured that slavery is one of them <laughs> they're essentially short selling warforged um I think that's short selling. where you would really draw the line. <laughs> the short selling. Yeah. No, short selling's fine. Alright. Um, so here's the map. Audio check. Hello. Hello. Okay, good. I've been trying to talk for a while. And let's open the combat tracker. That's how I get dupes on the map. Warehouse, is this like one of those turns into a house and then full moon kind of warehouse? No. 
This is a house where you have no idea where it is. Oh. If you knew where it is, it'd be a their house. Ah. We should have taken a long rest when we had the chance. Okie dokie. And let's get you guys on the map. What could possibly go wrong, Daphne? We'll be just fine. Exactly. Just the majority of this group constantly whining about not having enough spell slots. Arcturus and I go into combat with no spell slots. Routinely. <laughs> right, there's that. And then... Well, at least one of us is cautious with our use of our incredibly limited magic. Me? No. Well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You're fine. I was mostly talking. I was mostly talking about William. All right. All right. All right. I mean, geez, like I get mine for free, and even I don't waste. I don't waste magic nearly as much as he does. Okay. So, uh. You guys make your way over to the warehouse that Light pointed out to you guys. And you see uh, they have a couple of guards stationed outside. They have a hobgoblin and a human with a rather large crossbow. Okay. And you guys aren't here, here, where you can see the map. Okay, we, we see them. They don't appear to have noticed us. Yeah, no, you're like in an alleyway across the street. You're like Okay. The, you're like in the shadows. Plus, there's all that fog and stuff. They are under a well lit porch. See them. Do you, any way to approach them from the side, out of sight? Uh, yeah. You can. You guys. Oh, there's the fog. You guys can pop up on any corner that you want. Uh, I will make you make stealth checks. So if you want to get past the building. Do we want to try the ladder play? Uh, do we no. know? Do we know who they worship? <laughs> money. Uh, <laughs> just walk up. Hello, I am money. <laughs> walk up as a stack of coins. I mean, I have suggestions. Now is not the time to be getting drunk, Daphne. I think that we should approach from the front left side of the building and catch them by surprise. The front where they're standing? Yes. But that, like that around would be that surprising. Corner. Is that a pile of mud that's next to them? Yeah, that's it's muddy over there. Is how big are they standing on like a raised walkway? Yeah, it's um it's like a ramp that goes up about five, ten feet. Somewhere in there. So like then that pile of mud on the left side, it's they're they're standing like ten feet over, right? Uh they're they're not quite ten feet, it's like seven feet. It's it's weird. The the building itself is like all elevated. The windows, um the the baseboard of the windows is about eye level. Okay. Well, so our Actually, tourist no, that was pointing I would put it well above eye level, my bad. Baseboard of the windows is about 11 feet off the ground. Arcturus points to where I've moved the avatar so you can see where he is without me having to delete what I draw. I think we should find a way to that side of the building and then scale that the, the steep side of the ramp here and get in their face, like, very quickly. Any objections? I mean, I can maybe use one of my ma some of my magic to try and distract one of them too. Weren't you just talking about how people are too wasteful with their magic, Daphne? No. Yeah, <laughs> Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's like if we can fight one of them, fight them one at a time instead of all at once, you know. Like we can set, like I can trick one of them into running off, and then we take the we ambush the other one, and then we ambush the first one when they come back. 
Let me ask you something. If they run off, where are they running to? Anywhere I want. Anywhere you want? Like, like what? Are they going to run away, or are they going to run inside and alert the rest of the guards? My goddess grants me the ability to conjure an illusion of a person's greatest desire. At any particular point. In my experience, uh, most people can't resist the urge to run straight towards it. Like you, Ark. <laughs> what was that, anyway? Just out of curiosity. He's my brother. Oh. Alive again. Oh, that's sweet. I still don't really appreciate that. Oh. Yeah, that ability's kind of a dick move. I love it. <laughs> Daphne once again suffering from hoof and mouth. Well, anyway, it was, it was necessitated by circumstance, as it is now. Anyway, which of these chumps do you think is going to be a harder case? Probably the hobgoblin. Hmm. So may I suggest something? Why not mix the two uh, two strategies here, and you could lure one of them towards us, where we just beat the shit out of them, and then there's only one left over there. the The only caveat is that I can't lure him out of eyesight of the other one. I can't like lure him around a corner because he it has to be within line of sight. I can only conjure the illusion within line of sight of him. Mister DM, how thick is this fog? Uh, it is, you can still see across the street, so it's not, like, super thick. Uh, visibility is limited to about, I want to say about 250 feet. After that, it kind of yeah, starts I, getting I into can, a cloudy mess. I can only pull them 60 feet. Is anybody here familiar with the fog cloud spell? I've had it used on me, but I cannot use it. I've seen it before, but I can't cast it. I can cast it. Do you have it prepared? Of course I do. What if... And this sounds like a lot of things to use all at once, but what if that greatest desire thing happens, and then while he's approaching his greatest desire, the fog appears to roll an extra thick between him and his companion? But I don't know if that's too many... Is your ability a spell... It's not technically. Uh, out of character, it's my channel divinity, which I think I only have one I use gotcha. of. Yeah, I think you get like one per encounter at this level. Let me double one check. per encounter? It might be two. Yeah, it, it's like a it's... short wrestling. Oh. Oh, it's not a per encounter, it's a per yeah, short wrestling. I don't rest. I don't get channeled I don't get uh channel my second channel divinity use until sixth level. Oh, it's not double now. So, yeah. So I can pull one of them. I mean, I don't really even think we need to. It's two against five. We should be able to just, you know, bum rush them. What's to stop them from shouting, oh shit, there's five guys trying to kick our shit in? Well, they'd be wrong. Daphne's here. Ah. You know how you're how right. Fun. You're right. My mistake. What's to stop them from shouting? There's four guys and a goat here to kick our shit in. Excuse you. I'm only half goat. What's the other? What's the other half? Another goat. Harry. <laughs> I don't see any wings. Not all fairies have. Ah, uh, forget it. Look. If we want to do this the really easy way, I can just enthrall them. But I don't want to burn a second level spell slot on this. How about we just kick their asses? Okay. I'm still going to charm one of them, because it's fun. <laughs> So Maybe what, we just cool. walking up there and being like, hey, delivery, it's a knuckle sandwich! That's that's the general gist of it, yes. I'll let you know, if you just walk up to them, you're going to get to about... pretty much about where you're standing before initiative is rolled. 
I was really picturing Arcturus with like a large cardboard box. You open it, I, and you just uppercut cuts them. I think Arcturus. I think Arcs. Uh, I think his idea is is good. I think uh, we sneak up from behind the corner. Um, maybe like the opposite street. Uh, I will have you make stealth checks to get past them to that corner. You can't sneak to that corner, but you have to do it in a way that they don't catch you trying to get there. Hmm. What if we go 250 feet down the street, out of sight of the fog, and we approach from just past the line of sight of that corner of the building? Uh, how so? I mean, like, I'm assuming this street continues on to the left. Yeah. So what happens if we just walk that way 250 so feet to the left, to the corner that I'm standing on? Then you have a Is pleasant there just more building? in the middle of the night. Yeah, you're, you're in like a warehouse district, so it's just like a series of warehouses. Oh, I... Occasionally clarify, a truck drives down the road. So so we're we're talking about sneak up on the left corner corner here are you saying that we would need to sneak just to get up to that point or we would need to sneak up to that corner you you would need to sneak to get to this corner that octurus wants to get to um these okay. these guys are keeping that's, watch so like either yeah, yeah, yeah that's so they're listening for noise is what you're saying they're listening for noise they're looking for people approaching in the mist stuff like that so if you okay, want to get that's... if you want to get to this corner either you kind of sittle up against the the build the next building over and then kind of wrap around into that alleyway or you come from the north, and spoiler: there's more dudes on the north side of the, uh, of the building. Yeah, that you, that's, that you that's have to sneak the, past. Yeah, that's what if that's we come fair. from the east over here? Uh, I, if you want to be on the eastern side, you can get there without sneaking. I don't have guards over there, but there's also no sorry. entrance over there. The west. I'm I'm lying to you. North, south, west. So the side that I drew the arrow. If we if that arrow shows the direction we come from. Yeah, if if you notice, there's a little bit of uh, gravel texture on the far side here. There's a there's another building like right off screen. Okay, gotcha. That's helpful. So if we go this, around, this is like an alleyway. Alley. If we go around the entire building, the north side guys will see us. If we go around the bottom of the building, the south guys sides guys will see us. So one way or another, we're gonna have to make a stealth check going from that side. Yeah, to, to get that close to them, you you will have to make a stealth check. I mean, even even but, if you were even if like this was like all open field to get to this corner with an earshot of these guys, it would still be a stealth check. Yeah, but we, we we would have the opportunity to get very very close before they see us. Yeah, that's that's the benefit of making this uh, stealth check. You can just like walk up to here and then try to bum rush them if you have movement or long distance spells. But right, but they're gonna see us from miles away. Yeah, they're gonna see you from about. Hundred feet away. You guys can. We'll start initiative where you guys currently are because I imagine that's about when they would start to react if you were just like dead sprinting at them, like like battle charging. Do we? Would we know in advance if the mud at the end of this ramp constitutes difficult terrain, or would we just find out when we get to it? Uh, you can see mud. Uh, it might be difficult terrain. It's hard to tell how deep it is. Uh, I, I wouldn't really count something difficult terrain unless it was, like, mid-thigh deep. So, like, just slightly muddy is not really going to do more than, like, make your shoes messy. Okay. I'm, I, I want to contest that just for a second. Mid-thigh deep mud is insane no, amounts no, of not, mud. Not difficult thigh. I meant, shin. Started... I meant shin, not thigh. I mean... I would say, like, low ankle is difficult terrain mud. I have gone to music festival wading around through four or five inches of mud is fucking hard. Yeah, no, I meant, I meant shin. Like, like, it'd have to be, like, pretty freaking deep to be difficult terrain. Fair enough. Yeah, mid-thigh is like, I can't move. No, I, I was so, even grabbing my shin. I misspoke. I'm not, I'm not too worried about us. I'm not too worried about them calling and sending an alert when we attack because like one way or another we're not getting into this building quiet we don't have the skill set for that but you might be able to get a surprise round we might get a surprise round if we make them if we make I, them come out to fight us we'll bottleneck them at the entrance this is true let's do it let's you know what frontal assault but quietly <laughs> Sneaky bum rush. So 
So are we do we want to try to roll stealth, or are we just going to go for it? I I, I do think that we should try to to uh, well. He, if we do manage to sneak around, what I could do is I could try to pull one of them out into the alley with us, and then then we can grab him, drag him back, beat the shit out of him, and then the other one has to choose between either leaving the door unguarded or going out to help his friend. Or raising the alarm. Yeah. Yeah, what's to stop him from going, oh, I watched Ted dis around, disappear around that corner, heard a bunch of meaty thunks. I better call, I better sound the alarm. Well, you can do that too. I still think we should just run, run in right head on. Keep All right. It well, at the very least, that's going to take the least amount of time. So let's do that. Run, charge. charge. Can I? Can I? If you check to... that, if you check that GIF in random chat, that's a ma that's what I imagine those guards are going to see. Can I just? Is it, is it one of the to... Are yes, just, it is. <laughs> if we, if we just charge at them, is it just will we just ro immediately roll initiative? Yep, just roll initiative, and I put you guys where you are. How far would we be when we rolled initiative? Right where, where you guys are. Right where we are. Okay, great. Works. This is this is you guys just charging straight out of the mist, screaming war cries <sighs> and getting ready to just slap I, the crap out of people. I really got it. If we like, hit, can, level, can we at least try to be quiet? I mean, yeah, you can be quiet, but like you're definitely not being subtle, uh, Joe. Like stealthy, if, Joe. If we make it to eighth level, remind me to take the alert feet. Will do. <laughs> I just want to let you know you still beat me and Joe. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, but Joe. the pro the difference is that I'm the control caster. I want to go first. You guys don't Joe, care. When we get to eighth level, remind me to take the alert feet too. Oh, so you can have a fifteen to your initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it helps all of our tactics if I go first. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, so no surprise round. They see you guys running at them from across the street. Yep. Uh, Aberforth, you get to go first. All right. So, one, two, three, four. And I then can't wait to see him fucking rabbit hop up there swinging his chain over his head. That is exactly what's happening. Rabbit hop's a bonus action, right? So I won't get my double attack this turn. Still worth going. So, come on. Click on the map. We go here and here. All right? No, I need to be one closer for my audacity. Oh, yeah. Haha! -ha! That means I can sneak attack. No. Stealth! <laughs> that hits. <laughs> Hooray! 24 definitely hits. <laughs> Let's ah. show him what adventure feels like. Ah, oh, that's a lot of ones. Ooh, he didn't like that, though. It still put him under half. <laughs> and, uh, that's my turn. Okay, yeah, so he's yelling. Uh -huh. Aha, they can't notice us if he's dead. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... You hear some yelling from the other side of the building. Uh, this guy's turn. Oh, oh sweet Jesus! That combat tracker. Yeah, oh, that's hey, why my computer almost. That's why my computer almost had an aneurysm when he loaded no this up. You noticed. <laughs> um. Uh, all right. So this guy is actually a little happy that you ran up to to fight him. Uh, he's got he's got a pretty large crossbow. The thing's at least like two feet long, and he he uh he pretty much. Grabs the thing and puts it straight to your chest before pulling the crossbow. And let's see if uh, before pulling the the trigger. Let's see if he hits you. Aha. Uh, he should not have disadvantage. He shouldn't have disadvantage for the shooting in melee. Oh, he does not. Nice. He's specifically built for melee shooting people. Uh, he has an ability called point blank shot. Nice. Your 22 hit? Uh, it does. Awesome. That, and let's roll some damage. Woo! 
And that's it for him. Starts yelling. These guys don't do anything yet. What, what did we say about not fighting everybody all at once? That that's for cowards? Yeah, we... we I, I suggested several ways nice. of doing that, and we decided that it was for cowards. Arcturus, it's your turn. Well, I mean, I wanted to be stealthy. This is loud stealth. No one can notice if there's no one to notice. To be fair, uh, from an outer character perspective, I also just wanted to get the combat encounter going, considering we already started like 20 minutes late. I'm not concerned about that. I already had... This is actually leftover shit from last week, so... I don't mind running right. over. It just means less prep for me the next week. So I just also spring up that wall. Not not quite the same, just standing jump like uh like Aberforth, but um it looks really fluid. I jump up, I grab it, I grab with my hands, but I don't need Yeah, you're getting a little robot there. Uh, jumping so strongly anyway. It's more Oof. You went full robot on that one. Um, yeah. Well, too bad. I'm not saying it again. Well, you, you stopped being a robot. That's cool. Yeah, that, that's nice. I like, I like not roboting. Ar Ar Arcturus runs up to the ledge, does a quick little hop, and like almost effortlessly just yanks himself up with one hand. Yeah, and then uh, I step right up into human trickster rage with uh, a sudden burst of speed. He's aggressive. Using, using my aggressive feet. That's right. He's aggressive. Look out. He's running. Come. He's coming straight for us. Oh, Lord, he's coming. 19. 19 hits. Also, let's target him. Yep, I'll target him. Uh, unless you just targeted, in which case we're no longer targeting. You're targeting. So. <laughs> Ouch. He knows there's a second one coming. Yeah, he does. He sees that backswing here. Ah, 13 misses, though. Sweet. After Arcturus is our Hobgoblin captain. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, that's pretty good. This guy, he is going to pound on the door three quick times. And then he's going to come over here. On move you. There we go. Over here, he's going to target Arcturus. And he has a big ass sword. And we're going to take this big ass sword. And we're going to swing it twice. Uh, 12 will miss. That sucks. Ooh, 23 will hit, though. Oh, come on, you. There it is. He does 25 damage with that big-ass sword. Uh, Daphne, it's your turn. Okie dokie. Need to get that sword. What the fuck? Uh, he has a uh, an ability that gives him three turn. Let's. Hmm. What about that guy? I need to get that ability. What the fuck? <laughs> it it's pretty much the you have to have a friend part of sneak attack. I have a friend. Do you have sneak attack? No. Get sneak attack. 
Let's hit that guy with a Toll the Dead. Why do I have advantage? Uh, you target it yourself. Oh. Oh, yeah. But you succeeded. Ah. Hey. Hmm. Uh, he fails. Cool. He's already marked damage. And it's a one. Nice. And I did it to myself. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if that's it for Daphne. I don't, yeah, I don't have any bonus action spells worth casting. All right, year. Worries me that something rolled. I don't know why Daphne is making saves. Because I still have the mind blast thing on me. Oh, jeez. Hi, Mr. Captain. Thanks. Hey, that hits. <laughs> Elbrick Blast hit, everybody. Bye, Mr. Captain. He's going to go two to the right. Uh, This guy? The one I'm targeting, yeah. Hit him. Same thing. Ouch. Does he move again? Yeah, and he's slowed ten feet. Okay. That's me. Big blasts. William, you slow boy. It's your turn. Yeah, I'm a book nerd, not a warrior. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't even gone through his, his magical girl transformation. <laughs> I don't have enough spell slots for that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you didn't deny that it was a magical girl transformation. <laughs> Let's throw some fire. Uh, the fire hits. Oh, he goes splat. Yeah, well, you killed a man. <laughs> you killed a man. <laughs> you killed a man in hot blood. Uh, and that's it for that's it for Will. All right, after Will commits murder, um, Aberforth, it's your turn. Aberforth would like to get in on the murder. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four. Oh, adventure! Adventure! Twenty-five will hit if you were targeting him. Ah, whoops! Bad your. Ta da! Let's not apply my damage to myself. That could go poorly. Eh. Ouch! He did not oh, like come that. Come on, everybody's trying it. Bonus like action. It does seem to be the hip thing nowadays. The call to adventure again. That misses. Sad. G giving and the then... rogue, giving the rogue a plus one flaming chain spear or chain chain uh, spike chain. Probably not the best <laughs> idea. And uh, then we will use the last of my movement hey. to back up one. He's using okay. your homebrew, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I like and, uh, that. That is a before's turn. It's mostly sneak attack. His his OP damage was five. Uh, I I really want you to rename your main attack Call of Adventure, and then your basic uh, offhand attack to be Redial. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! The call to adventure was coming from inside the house. <laughs> All right, after Aberforth. I... This dude. I tried to star 69 the adventure, but it, it went straight to voicemail. <laughs> uh, you hear a voice yelling from inside the warehouse. Uh, go ahead and give me perception checks. Can the adventure just text instead, please? See if you can make out what he's saying. It's hard because there's like combat happening and inside the warehouse. Uh, oh. Uh, Daphne, oh, you make out what he's saying. Uh, oh, and Arcturus definitely knows what he's so saying. So do I. There's my 20. There's my 20, everyone. There it is. There it is. There's his 20 for the week. Um, See you next week. Uh, you hear him shout, uh, Warfor Warforged. 
uh, protocol mode assault. Ah, oh, shit. I wonder if this has anything to do with the 25 Warforged in the combat initiative. Don't worry about that. There. <laughs> uh, the Warforged all have red glowing eyes now. Arturus, it's your turn. Cool. What? These doors... I mean, I, kn I know... I know that it's the 1930s and 20s. that safety, you know, OSHA's 20s. OSHA is not really a thing. No. But do these doors open in or outward? Uh, is this is this pre or post triangle waistcoat factory? <laughs> pre. Um, so I want this place. Oh, to... so there should be so there should be a lock on the outside. Got it. Yep. 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 Uh, so the doors, uh, they they look like traditional doors they don't have like the push bar or anything like that because waistcoat factory um right it um it's so, so they got like just the traditional like just doorknob turn and it's got like a center post that can be removed um and quick cursory glance you can tell that they open inwards inwards yep it is it is much easier to get stuff into the warehouse when the doors open inwards well and Will that's it all take they care a about. Whole action? Will it take me a whole action to put my one of my javelins across the wedged in the? There's two doorknobs, right? Or are yeah. they like? They're just like regular doorknobs. Okay. Can I place my uh, a javelin on that without it taking an entire action? Uh, that will be your action, but it's not going to be particularly sturdy. Like, it's, it's not going to be a really great way to, like, prevent something from opening the door. Because they're just, like, regular doorknobs, and, like, putting a broomstick across a pair of regular doorknobs isn't going to do a great job of holding that door closed. I was about to say, if you have any rope, can you tie them together? Rope would be a much better option. Yes, in my pack. It'd be, Which I can it'd be an item in my pack with an action. Uh... I'm gonna assume that Arcturus is like. Action. I'm gonna assume Arcturus is like a seasoned adventurer, and he has his rope like lashed to the outside of his pack. Must do. Yeah. Okay, I, that's a fair assumption. I'm gonna tie the doorknob shut. I'm gonna tie the left doorknob to the right doorknob, uh, running the rope across it. I'm gonna tie it real good. Okay, and we'll have someone make an athletics check versus your survival check after that to open the door. Uh, the hobgoblin's Excellent. turn. Uh, he is very pissed at this rabbit, and he just comes right up to you, and he takes that great sword of his, and he starts a swinging. I'd prefer if he didn't. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any friends anymore. Fifteen will hit for that much, and a second swing. Are you just saying that this dude can't even sneak attack me to my face? Twelve will miss. Nope, he needs friends to coordinate with. Daphne, it's your turn. Okay, okay. Let's not overcomplicate things. Oh, it's dead. Ooh, he succeeds with a nineteen. Ah, well. Uh, yep. No toll the dead. That's my turn. Okie doke. Here. Hey, remember last turn? I do. Same damn thing. You missed. Yeah. I'm gonna blow him away. You, Ten more feet. You blow him anyway, to pieces. I yeah, I just start blasting. Part, part of him goes about ten feet away, and some of him goes like ten feet to the left. Some of it goes like six feet to the right. Uh, he oh, is, has been turned to giblets with your Eldritch Blast. Oh god, you His head salt. actually goes straight up. Yeah, chunky straight up. Him. Oh, I gibbed him, fuck. <laughs> you, you made it <laughs> taught him the chunky salsa rule. An interesting start to the session when the book nerd and the shopkeep murder people. <laughs> yeah. Especially yep. when they're the ones that like have lived here. <laughs> 
like Daphne doesn't know anything, really anything about the like sociopolitical situation at Bastion. So for her, it's just like whatever. They're slavers. Uh, William. No, no, you got it pretty much on the head. Is you moving anywhere <laughs> after giving that? Gym, I, that uh, I have I have moved next to William, and we are now talking about our excellent adventure so far, killing people. <laughs> oh boy! Will, how's it going? Don't worry, the adrenaline wear the adrenaline will wear off soon, and then Will's going to get real sick. <laughs> will, it's your turn. I mean, it's, uh, not, it's not the first time you guys have given people like you fought the Cerulean Claw and shit. Just think, at a certain True. point during that firebolt, his meat was perfectly cooked. But, like, these guys were just standing around doing nothing. Like, these guys were, like, just dudes with jobs. Yeah, uh, yeah they were just working to provide for their families. Uh, it's yeah. a shame I'm not playing Fenro anymore. Yep. Uh, how high up is that? That ledge right there? Uh, it's about a... F Mechanically, it's like a five-foot climb. Okay. It's a little bit taller than five feet. It's like six and a half, seven, but it's five feet. For the grid's sake. Do it uh, for the grid. And that's looking good for Will. All right, Will climbs up. Aberforth! What you doing now? Well, I assume we're going to be going with our choke him at the door approach. So I guess... Yeah, we'll stand here. And then... Arcturus can let go when he feels is good. All right. All right. So what is it? Two. Or. Uh, you hear a voice from inside. It's the same one you heard previously, and he shouts, "I hope you rugged bastards have a." Have any idea what you're getting yourselves into? We assure you, we have no idea what we've gotten ourselves into. <laughs> yes, yes. You're not getting in here without a bloodbath. Well, <laughs> Daphne just looks around at the the <laughs> blood everywhere. Yeah, he has a bit outside recently. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne's like, well, it's not the worst thing I've ever bathed in, but I mean, if I'm here, I have heard it's good for your skin. <laughs> are we, are we still in initiative? Yep, I'm just moving dudes okay. around. All right, and Arcturus, they have not tried the door. It seems like they're waiting for you to come in. Well, I mean, if they're not going to try the door, we can go out back. Hello! Uh, inside, you see uh, half a dozen Warforged just kind of all turn their heads in unison as you walk past the window and peek in, and uh, their eyes are like uh, glowing red. The universe. How big's the window? Uh, the window is. It's one of those. Uh, I'm gonna say it's about two feet. You can squeeze through if you really want. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna get right back to here. Is it made out of glass? Are there bars in? There's no bars. I wouldn't be able to squeeze through. Never mind. No, it's it's made of glass though, and uh, it's got it's got rounded corners. It's got like a porthole kind of look to it. Right. Well, I'm gonna go back to right here and. It yeah, is tall. Just standing around. It is taller than it is wide. All the windows in the Janarthi district have rounded corners. Easier to make them airtight. But yeah, they are all just kind of standing around. Easier to require a specialty glassmaker so you can get more expensive windows to sell to people. That too. Uh, Daphne, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'm... Hmm. So, there's probably not anyone else, not any other support they can get from the outside, or else they would have called them around, right? 
Potentially. Or they're on their way. Or they're on their way. Or... You know what? You, you guys are here to stop a shipment. They could be rushing it at this point. Uh, did we see any kind of, like, loading docks or anything out back? You didn't go out back. Okay. Hmm. Well... Like I said, they they know we're at the front door. If they're not going to try this front door, then very clearly we can go around back and go through the back door. I mean, sure. We can half break initiative while you guys figure out what you want to do next, and then we'll just pick it back up once you've decided. No, I'm going to start running out back. Okay. Uh, I would just like to point out if they don't perceive anything happening up front here, they're going to assume it's happening elsewhere. Fair point. So what, are we splitting the party, leaving someone out here to make a racket? Well, she uh, seems pretty adamant about idea. going she seems pretty adamant about going around, so Stephanie's what's he doing? I'm staying right here. Right there, all right. What's Will doing? Uh is anyone gonna go with Daphne? Daphne <laughs> Daphne just sprinted off. She fully believes they're all behind her. <laughs> I guess Will's going with Daphne, because it was yeah. kind of his idea. Will and Daphne episode! All right, Aberforth, what are you doing? Will and Daphne power hour! <laughs> all right, well, they need, <laughs> they need a distraction. Aberforth is willing to provide. Hello, friends! It will be an action uh, the... to undo that, that rope that Arcturus put on the door. Yeah. yeah, that is my action. And then I'm just staying in the doorway. <laughs> okay, yeah, you throw the door open, uh, and both doors open when you do that. Chunk. Uh... Rude. And there's a lot of Warforged in there. Hey, the knight. Uh, he is... He is going to... One. Four. Lead the charge. And uh, as as he does so, he says, Warforged protocol attack! And uh, he is going to uh, attack Mr. Aberforth Timothy Bristlecone. I like to think that that's the name of his attack and not him commanding the Warforged. <laughs> and this guy is in, like, heavy armor. This guy seems to be, like, the head guard for the war uh, warehouse. Super. Uh, attack with my greatsword. Ooh, that hits. Or 13 damage. What? Was that a Letterkenny oh. sound bit? No, it was uh, oh, that's Brian, Brian David, David Gilbert. Gilbert. My special boy. And he's going to attack again. You've just confused a whole <laughs> bunch of people because I don't have sound alerts on on my Discord. Did that one hit? Uh, 14 misses. Okay. Can I see you? I can see you. Hey, Mr. Aberforth, you're going to get shot. Unfortunate. Hey, Mr. Aberforth. Did that one hit? Yes, it did. With a 20. As a kill loves you more than All right. Well, I would have liked to have used my uncanny dodge, but I didn't know if it hit. Uh, Can you dodge a 20? Uh, Uncanny dodge is just resist all for yeah, a reaction. So you get seven hit points. Okay. Stand uh, back up. Remove. Pre yep, 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 yep. Seven hit points, so 35? 30. Oh, you're at the top of the initiative. How am I trying to find you there? Oh, there we go. So We're not unconscious yet. Be... You're not prone yet. There we go. He shot you real good. Yeah, he did. And that makes it these Warforged turn. And just these closest ones are going to start slowly marching forward. And uh, as they march forward, you notice that um, 
uh, like a, a sword blade kind of descends uh, from the back of their forearms. And they just feel like this slow robot march. Great. It will lead them to freedom. <laughs> That's it for these guys. <laughs> Arcturus. Aberforth threw open the door and then immediately regretted his decision. Can I grab him and move him as an action? Yeah. Yeah, you can drag him out of the way. Would that provoke? No. Okay. Uh, force movement doesn't normally provoke unless it says so. Oh, you just okay. you just literally throw yourself between them. That's cool. I thought you were just going to drag him down the him. wall. No, I just I st I stiff armed him, but like back away. Um, and that's probably an action because it was not really an attack, but it was. Yeah, that that, you that, got is, that is an action. Yeah, that is an action. All right, cool. Uh, well, I'm going to bonus action rage. I feel like a simple shout would have been enough to hold their attention on this door. <laughs> is Aberforth a simple man? Exactly. That wouldn't show our commitment. He may be after this fight. <laughs> probably took a little bit of brain damage <laughs> he's laying on the ground muttering about how he needs to do his taxes <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm just going to stand here and hope to face tank okay Arcturus' jimmies are rustled uh, Daphne it's your turn oh god I hope I don't have to do Mr. Ab Mr. Bristlecone's taxes <laughs> <laughs> Daphne just stops and goes oh no my taxes senses are tingling <laughs> Oh God, I can't let them know I don't how to know how to do math. What was um, that? Nothing. Um, okay. No real reason she left the she left where she was. Her kid had math homework. <laughs> Listen, I grew up in a mostly non literate culture. And I I was still the worst reader. Oh, hey. Hey, guys, there's a truck back here. Yeah, and it is idling, ready to fucking go. We're going to steal a car? Let's steal a car. I just, I just I learned what a car is, and already I want to steal one. I swear to God, William and Daphne are going to steal a truck and drive straight to David's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I dashed, so that's my turn. Okay, after Daphne is here. Oh, boy, what a pickle we've gotten ourselves into. Mr. Bristlecone. Yes. Hang on a second. I need to. I need to read my abilities real super quick. <laughs> Mr. Apologies. Mr. Hold on a second. Bit late. <laughs> Pulls out the script. Starts flipping through it. Okay. Ah, <laughs> you're not supposed to I die here at all. Job. Wait, I don't lose. Well, that's a heal. Oh, my bones, they feel so much better. That's a bonus action. That's a heal. Is that all the heals you had? I have 1d6 remaining. Oh, nice. That hits. 20... That hits. Why? Uh, wh where does he go? Oh, can I push him straight back? He can't go straight back, but he can go like catty corner. I mean, he can move through allied squares, and he's going 10 feet. Uh, I mean, you can, I, I suppose. I don't really care. Yeah, you push him that way. Ah, oh, no. Oh, There's the Eldritch Blast we know and love. There it is. Uh, is that all years <laughs> doing? Are you going to try and get a he's better angle? He's, sl he's slowed by 10 feet. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm perfectly fine where I'm at. Alrighty. Uh, William. So, can I see through these windows? You see what you see. Oh god. That doesn't help. Uh, well, if you stayed in the doorway. You also don't have a line of effect. You have to ah, okay. get rid of the window. Oh, oh you, okay. 
You can see them, but you can't, like, cast a fireball through it. Oh, I was going to go for hold person. Uh, that, that one doesn't require a line of effect. It's not something originating from you and yeah, going it's not, to them. It's, it's not just a, that it's, it's happening to. It's them. not a projectile. You just need to be able to see the target. That one. Yeah, works. the the. Uh, I was about to say the problem is is that uh, I like I can't see that knight anymore. Yep, nope. He got shoved past. He got what, shoved over about, behind the boxes. What about the archer? Uh, I mean, yes, I can see him, but the <laughs> does does hold person work on the warforged? You can try it. Well, the Warforged, Warforged aren't people, and they're probably just minions. Because I, I like, because I don't have a second spell, a uh, second level spell slot. I have, a, I have a third, so I'd be upcasting it, and I have to target another person. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> target the same dude twice. Make sure it lands. I mean, William has been provided pretty direct evidence at this point that Warforged are indeed people. Uh, he, he talked to one one Warforged, and it could have just been like a very sophisticated model. Alright, let me... Second question. Ah. Cool. Would William even have the chill right now to ask that question? No. <laughs> That's fine. They both fail. Nice. Fun. So that was like three feet. That was like two squares of movement to get me back there. And then. And then I get there. I like the idea of William like, like looking through the windows as he run past, it stops and does like a quick double take. He goes, you. And then keeps going. Uh, that is exactly what happens, good sir. Aberforth. Well, now that I feel significantly healthier. <laughs> the knight and the crossbowmen are locked in place. Yes. Onwards. To adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, my good man. Eh, eh. I'm sure there's no possible way this could go poorly. I feel like I must return the favor to the knight. Okay. Huzzah! Kaylin, Kaylin if you hit him, it's a crit. Kaylin, oh, it's a crit. Is? Yes. So, you, so you'll hit them. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you have to be within five feet. Yeah. <sighs> well, too late. Murdy is in the sneak attack on this one. Here you go, friend. Woohoo! You didn't like that. And then... The bonus action attack. He's doing his best to let us know. Yeah. <laughs> and he named it Retail. Hey, that thank you. Oofda. <laughs> 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 Whap. And uh, uh, that is Aberforth's turn. <laughs> he doesn't like being whole personed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I bet he fucking doesn't. All right, uh, so get, go ahead and give him his save. Critically saves. Ah. Balls. Thankfully, that happens at the end of his turn. Yep, that is indeed the end of his turn. Uh, and then the trick shot needs his save. Got a two. So he's still stuck. He is indeed still stuck. Ah. Uh. This truck that was idling hey, Berth, here. did you continue standing right there, or did you move back? No, I continued standing um, there. Brave, I like it. Arcturus, it's your turn. The truck has driven off. God damn it. 
It's not the only truck. Uh, what's Arcturus up to? I give that knight the old hairy eyeball. Gross. Yeah, you know. How many of those do you have on hand? Several. Just loose in his pocket. Ah, that misses. Uh, you should have advantage, though. He's per uh, he's paralyzed. He's, not, he's no longer paralyzed. Oh, no, that's why he saved. Never mind. The but other guy that's paralyzed. I can make it reckless retroactively. Yep, you can go ahead and make reckless. I like the I like the reaction re reckless. Baldur's Gate did so much stuff right. Well, I mean, yeah. if paladins can choose to smite after they hit, yeah. Does a sixteen hit the knight? Why that wasn't? Is it just like a regular plus seven roll? Why didn't you just roll the attack again? Because it would have added advantage to it, and so oh, I yeah. just because I just hit reckless attack so that I could have the reckless okay I disadvantage see applied to. It. I see what you're talking about. Let's see I mean, here. You do gotta, also have another attack. Now I gotta check his AC. My bad. It's probably plate armor for an eighteen uh, or some bullshit. It is. It is something like that. Doesn't it show me his AC when I click the defense button? Yeah, his AC is 18. I can just re Okay, cool, cool, excellent, wonderful. That'll hit. You just had to tell the dice what they were looking for. Hey, they, they hit it exactly, so. Oh. Oh. Any, any, does he have, a, is there any carryover here? Uh, no. I did 18 damage. Did he have exactly 18 hit points left? Oh, no, uh, you have 10 damage left. Oh, cool. Then the, the Warf Forge next, um, gonna get up to 10 damage. I guess all 10 damage if he has that many hit points. Uh, he manages to survive it. Oh, really? Oh. Well, knock ten pit points, knock ten health off. These are not minions. This is bullshit. They are minions. Just minions have weird rules to them. Um, if they're directly hit by an attack, they auto die, and if they fail a save against the damage, they automatically die. For all other like non, uh, interactive damage, they actually have a set number of hit points that you have to overcome. These guys have twelve hit points. Oh, so me hitting him with an axe is not a direct attack. You, you it was the effect of your attack. Yeah, it it was a it was a carryover yeah. thing. It, it would have been the same as like um taking half damage from a fireball. I know. Uh, after Arcturus is Daphne. Okay. So there's one truck left. Uh, there's trucks at other warehouses. This the truck that was at this one took off. But if you want to steal a truck, that option is still available to you. Uh, oh, cool. Our objective is driving away. Oh, there's a bunch yeah. of Warforged here, too. Steal another, yeah, the kind that we're steal another truck, Pittman, over it. <laughs> I... Huh. I believe now the challenge has become you must extricate yourself from the situation in order to steal a truck. Yeah. Um... So, to the truck I'm looking at here on the map, that's not here anymore? No, that drove off. I just didn't... I, I didn't remember if I put a mask on this one, so I didn't bother driving it, like, way the fuck away. Okay, so the, the ones we were here to rescue are gone, and now all we have left are the really angry ones, and no obvious way to get them out of here. Is that right? Not these ones, no. Uh, it, it is really hard to move this many Warforged if they're not, like, incapacitated. They're gonna fight you. These probably aren't the ones that you're here to save anyways. Light was specifically talking about the ones that were being sent to the Sky Docks to be shipped off, off the city. These guys can still be saved later, because it's not like they're going anywhere. These guys are about to fuck off a bastion. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's the ones that are in the truck that we're trying to save. 
Okay. How far away has the truck gotten? Uh, it's a truck, so pretty far. Is it still within line of sight? Uh, you can see the tail end of it as it's like turning the corner onto a different road. Can I see the driver? What? What kind of, of acceleration does this truck have? Of course Is it not. accelerating oh. as if it's an empty truck or a full truck? Uh, it's of a f- not. That would be too- it's a full that truck, but easy. it's also magic. Um, it they actually have an acceleration. It's a third of their top speed per round, so it's going fifteen miles per hour right now. Uh. Oh, I have a. Hmm. Wait. Okay. So I I can't see the cab of the truck. No, it's 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 like one of those uh moving box trucks. So it's got like the very tiny windows and uh. Can but is okay. What I'm asking is, is the cab of the truck within? Has it like turned a corner, or is it still within line of effect of me? Um, I'm gonna say no, most because it's also got like that big boxy bit at the back. So, like, while you might be able to see, like, the front wheel, you're not seeing anything for, like, the cab itself. Not to mention the fog. Yeah, plus the fog and light, line of sighting the cab of this thing is... is what, I'm, what I'm angling at here is... Yeah, what are you trying you to allow... do? I'm trying... I want a hypnotic pattern just, like, over where I know the driver is. Uh... I'm gonna say that's... no. Yeah, because, like, other... That's the only trick I would have at my disposal. Otherwise, it's a lost cause. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that you you you, uh, you don't have that opportunity. If, if you had dropped it, like, as you turned the corner, like, if you didn't have to dash, maybe. But, um, this thing took off and you pretty much missed that opportunity. Plus, I'll tell you right now, uh, the glimpse of the cabin that you did manage to get, he's not alone in there. Um, he he'd uh, he'd have had somebody who who could have potentially just shifted awake in the next turn. Okay. Um. It... So, what are we even doing here? Uh, trying to get the hell out of this shit show and potentially steal a truck and chase those guys down. Ah. Uh... Do I see into the building from the back? You see what you see. Okay, so so I can move here. I need to get rid of Steel Ball. <laughs> we don't even have that anymore. Do you I... or not, I will unsubscribe. <laughs> do they? Do I see the bodies of any non? You I see... know there was a guy. Yeah, do... I know there was a guy inside. I didn't see him, but do I see a body next? Yeah, to you, him there? You, where that blood splash is is where that guy was standing. At. The guy, this it, presumably is, the is guy the, who gave the command. Yeah, is is the corpse of a dude in heavy armor? Uh, okay, you can reasonably assume that guy was in charge. Okay, the warforged are still in attack mode, though. Yeah, and none of them are facing you yet. They haven't noticed you. They're very focused okay, on. Okay, well, they're very focused on the very angry man at the other end of the building. Okay, well, there goes my second very good plan, which was to suggest that that guy say the deactivation command. Uh, they can roughly mimic his voice. What am I, a fucking Kenku? You're a goat. <laughs> scream for him. Goats who scream like humans, come on, don't you know anything? Ugh. You mean to tell me you don't have minor illusion? I do, but that's probably not going to work, is it? It'd be a deception check. Alright, sure, fuck it. I'll give it a shot. I heard you, the guy's voice. You, yeah, you can create a sound, and if it's a sound, it can range from a whisper to a scream. 
It can be your voice, someone else's voice, a lion's roar, beating drums, or any other sound you choose. Yeah. All right, sure. I'm going to try to do a minor illusion. What was it? Um, how did he phrase that? Uh, Warf he said Warforged <laughs> Protocol and then the command. Autobots roll out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to cast a minor illusion. Um, just try to do it as loud as I can. And it's his voice saying Warforged Protocol. Stand down? St stand by. Go ahead and give me a deception check. Cool. I'm going to be amazed if this works. Ugh. Uh, you get their attention. That's not good. Uh, but they don't seem like immediately hostile, just kind of confused because they do recognize the voice. They're just like, uh, there's like a wave of responses from the Warforged as like, uh, like like from the closest one to you to the farthest one, and they all say in unison like, uh, error, incongruous command. Uh, here, it's your turn. Oh boy, I'm... I am going places. He, he gets up, but it's nowhere near as graceful as Arcturus. It is, like... It's a scrabble. It's like... Blah, blah, blah. Watching, watching, like, a fish who, like, just got stranded on a beach. I'm just saying it costs you two squares of movement to get up there instead of one. <laughs> it's like one, uh, two, four, five, three, four, five, six. Ah... <laughs> uh, Yes, I'm fine with that. It doesn't have to if you don't want it to, but it's funny watching you struggle. Yeah. Uh, that hits. You blow his face clean off. Awesome. Not saving that one. Nope. <laughs> I love the <laughs> you blow his face clean off. Unconscious has been applied. <laughs> and that one also explodes. Aberforth pays me. That's all I'm concerned about. <laughs> I'm just here for a job, man. William, it's your turn. Ah, uh, well. Uh... Can I attempt that deception check? If you also have minor illusion, go for it. I do have minor illusion. What's your command? Uh, uh, mine's gonna be uh, Warforge protocol shutdown. Oh, okay. Nope. Uh, you get the same response. Hey, maybe we can just keep confusing them. Aberforth. As long as they're not attacking us, we're at a standstill. Uh, and this is a cantrip. Their turns haven't come yet. <laughs> Aberforth, what are you doing? Aberforth is advancing to the other paralyzed guy. Oh no. So one, two, three, four, five. Hello, friend. Oh no. You said it is a crit if I'm it is, within it five is a, feet? If you are within five feet and you hit him, it's a crit. Hello, friend. Friend. Oh, look at that crit. That hits. Hooray! <laughs> no, I, it's right shift, right? Yep. Uh, I, I don't think it matters which shift. Just shift. It's, it's any shift. Jesus! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <gasps> Uh, so he one is a, shot. Wait, did, he you, is, did you say? Did you say Merry Christmas? <laughs> he <Yeah>. is eviscerated. <laughs> you you just you just pop his head clean off of that spike chain. All right, and uh, then one square back towards Arcturus. I have one movement. 
And that is Aberforth's turn. And another working Joe just reduced to, reduced to chum. Reduced man, to man, it'd be even worse if he woke up and he's like, man, I don't, I don't know if I should go in today. Yeah, you know what? It's only one more day and I've got two days off. It'll be fine. <laughs> it was two days from retirement. <laughs> Uh, they seem to have picked up the pace a little. Now, like, full-on robot marching at you. Oh, no. Sucks is I gotta move them all first, and then I tell them... Ah. Reaction. Alright, what are you doing? That hits. Okay, pew! <laughs> he, was, he was flat. Now, here's here's my question, Mr. DM, with the Sentinel Warcaster feet here. Uh, am I able to continue my, my Eldritch Blast with another target? If that target was still alive, yes. Otherwise, no. Aww. A dude walking closer to you is going to let you, like, attack some guy 60 feet that way. There. I got so many Warforged. Working on it. Thank you. You did this to yourself. Just say. I know. I'm not really complaining. I'm just like, this turns me to. Uh, this does get faster I, once they're all I in would, position. Though. I would point it out to you. Uh, you are the one he keeps putting like sixty guys on every in every encounter. I like I like having big encounters. They're visually pleasing. The the thing is, Suki, we've started training him into it with our habit of encountering literally every mob in the dungeon before actually starting combat. Yeah, this is on you guys as much as it. Just Aberforth looking at the robots he's surrounded by. We are your gods? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Arcturus has friends. Arcturus isn't going to be doing so hot here in a second. Uh, it's actually not that bad. They're minions. Yeah, but don't they deal, like, progressively more damage the more minions are in attack range? Yeah, but it's only one attack, so, like, it's saber suck. It, it, oh, it's a good thing he didn't reckless attack. Yeah. Robots marching. Last of them. Awesome. Okay. So. Uh, Daphne, I believe one of them still had an action. He's going to one minion attack you. Hit you with an 18? Yes. Take three slashing damage. Uh, and then Aberforth, two of them were, there, were within slap in your range. Get the two minion attack. Twenty-one hit you. Yes. Get six slashing. How does my uncanny dodge function? Uh, you take three slashing damage. Okay. And I believe three of them get to hit Arcturus. I was counting right. 
Arcturus, do I hit you with a crit? No. <laughs> you take 18 <laughs> slashing damage. No, he had adamantine plate. <laughs> no, it's nine slashing. Yeah. Specifically and immune to crits. That was it. Arcturus, it's your turn. And now that turn gets progressively faster as this goes. Uh, while you are figuring that out, I'm going to get the goblin a drink. She came to me all thirsty. Ah, shot, 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 shot. It's apple juice. He didn't say of what. So, I assume a 26. Let's just say it hits. They're just minions. A 26 misses. That's what I want to see. A boss with like a 35 AC, 10 HP. <laughs> Do I hit? Monster, you just got to crack the armor. Do I hit with a 28? No, come the fuck on. <laughs> this is a madhouse. Then again, that also means, oh, first round, I rolled a natural 20. He's dead. Well, you killed the final boss of the campaign. Congratulations. Give him really high AC, really high saves. <laughs> 10 HP. Well, get out of man poised, you nerds. <laughs> so... So, question on on uh, uh, the minion whatever you thing have left over since... from twelve. Yeah, you okay, murdered... so they just die. Yeah, he dies because he hit them. They just get okay. You touch them, they die. Uh, but if you have anything then, uh, the... that cares about math, they have twelve hit points. Okay, so then the warforge next to me, next to him, and uh, directly to my north, only has three hit points left because I hit him with nine. So. Uh, so he still has 12 like that resets it's just you have to do 12 damage to kill him with non-interactive effects okay so th he doesn't have only 3 hit points no he has 12 he has, he has you have to do 12 damage to him if no rolls were made to do that damage to him I think he's trying to figure right, out because here's, here's where this would come into play here's where this would be useful if if, say, that, for example, the Warforged to my north has now nine hit points left, sorry, three hit points left, nine removed, then I'm going to attack the guy to the northeast, and then I'm going to swing my axe the other direction, and the carryover will take him out. If that's not how Cleave works with minions, then I would like to come back and argue that maybe we should change that um, objective on the weapon, because it suddenly becomes, with two attacks, a lot harder to kill three things. Like, um, impossible. If they have 12 hit points. I believe the rule is it's at the end Not of the turn. I, I believe the rule is at the end of the turn, the minion. No, nope, it's just if, if it... Uh, minion takes damage from another effect, they die if the damage equals or exceeds their hit point maximum, otherwise they take no damage. That's how they're built. Uh, I'd have to pull out the book and like read through the minion rules, because they actually have like, I, specific cleave rules for minions. I believe what Zach was um, saying though is, if you hit them, they're dead. Yeah, if you touch them, they, then die. Touch them, they die. The damage that was, the damage that you do minus 12 is dealt, carried over. Yeah, the, the problem is, if that damage isn't 12 or more, it doesn't kill the next minion. They take no damage. Uh, so let me uh, let me just pull yeah, open the freaking pain in the ass. Because like that would be nice to know. Immortals, sort of minions. Okay, so then I guess I'll take out the next two warforged to the. Hold on a sec. Here we go, man. Overkill attacks. Uh, for this second attack, 
Arcturus starts down low. He swings his axe up in an arc at you know arc, get it? And um takes off the right leg of the Warforge standing directly to his north. He leaps into the air and spins and then brings the axe back down across the left shoulder and down of the Warforge to the northeast. So kind of groovy looking. Okay, so here's how that works. If you do an attack that does more than 12 damage, all right? Here's how they have overkill uh, described in, in the minion, in, in the book that these things are from. If you do an attack that does more than their hit point maximum, for each point over that hit point maximum that it, you do, you get to kill an additional minion. And so on and so on. So oh. like... Oh, for each hit point over, I get to kill an additional minion? Yeah, so so it only takes one damage to kill a minion once you hit. So if you did uh, 12 damage, and, and like that kills it or whatever, uh, cool, you killed that minion, and it moved, and, and the leftover damage goes over. But if you, if you kill that minion, and you rolled like 16 damage, you get to kill that minion, and then like the three next to it, until you're no longer doing more than its hit point maximum in damage. Okay, so I did 12 damage to the guy directly to my north, and then each individual point of damage over gets me another minion, which means the all four of the remaining minions next to me die. Uh, how much damage was that first attack? Right? Oh, the uh, first 16. One, so... I'm seeing 9. Oh, no, the first attack was 9, which is yeah. not enough, so it just killed the one. Yeah, but this one kills <laughs> that guy that you targeted, and then 3 more. So go ahead and pick 3 more to do 1 damage to. Uh, the next three in line, the Warforged top right, the Warforged to my immediate right, and the Warforged to my bottom right. Can you slap them with damage so they're easy to get off the tracker? Uh, helps if I slap them, yeah. Because all I have is like a list and none of them are numbered. So I have no idea which ones are which. There is, there is nothing tying their token to the initiative tracker. That's how that works. Arcturus is just a bloody monster. <laughs> that that My makes our feels happy. We're fine now. So, uh, boy, I hope Arcturus is going to be the one to explain how this went down to uh to light. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that <laughs> because what we <laughs> yeah. he 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 agreed that we were going to go here. We were going to liberate the ones that were being sent and liberate the ones that were being sent away. Instead. We let those ones go and are now killing the rest of them. Hey, I don't think we... It, only Arcturus and Gear have killed the rest of them. So Daphne, it it's your turn. non-lethal damage, right? Non-lethal works? I yeah, swing you, my, my axe blunt side around. You can non-lethal these guys if you want, so... These guys are just sleeping. Sure. Okay, so only Gear killed two of them. Killed three of them. Okay. okay. Oh. I wasn't sure... I wasn't sure if you were doing that or not. They were coming right at us. We'll we'll keep track of the body count. <laughs> Year walks over and starts putting guns on them. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I could pick them up, but uh, never mind. Anyway, from your brief uh, conversation, you got the sense that Light's like this grizzled old war veteran, and like he might know what acceptable losses are. But, like, um, make sure that they stay no, acceptable. I, no, I mean, like, in their normal circumstances, I could literally just heal them and pick them back up after this fight, but you don't let us do that with NPCs. Uh, if you knock them out, yeah. If you just straight up well, murder them, no. Well, and then it becomes the problem of, like, so, like, okay, so we knock them out. If we pick them back up, are they just going to revert to the previous order they got so they immediately start attacking us again? Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try the minor illusion again. I'm going to try deactivate. Go for it. And I have a plus six to deception, so surely I can't keep failing this all night. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look baby. at that crit! Baby! Oh. Uh, the Warforged eyes kind of turn off. Guys, don't attack them again! 
Uh, year. It's your turn. Yeah, well. That's that. Guys, I saw the truck leaving full of the ones we're supposed to be rescuing. Why didn't you stop it? How was I supposed to? It was already pulling out by the time I rounded the corner. And also, I weigh like 90 pounds. How am I supposed to stop a moving truck full of robots? I'm assuming with the mind control you love throwing around willy-nilly. I couldn't we, reach. Are we out of initiative with this? If you want to be. I was trying. Is there, to, is there another truck in this warehouse? Not this warehouse, but there's one nearby you guys could all hop into. Road trip! Assuming we have some way of uh, jacking a, a car. Well, I was going to try to start the car, but whatever floats your boat, Daphne. We need to go now. Yes. Yeah, agree. Run. We ride. Uh, William! I'm going to heal Bristlecone and Arcturus before we leave. Cool. And uh, start my yes, short Mr. rest. Bristlecone. We're leaving. Uh, so Sounds good. I, I will let you know, you're not going to get a short rest. Yeah, it's five minutes. It's 15 minutes, and... Yeah, it's 15. 15 minutes, that no. car is going to be like two miles away, at least. 15 minutes, the ki- the, we need to... The only way that we salvage this mission is if we beat them to the sky docks. Which means we need to leave. To sky docks. It's only Let's been like go. three rounds since they, they yeah. left the building, so it's like 18 seconds. You guys have plenty of time to catch up to them. Yeah. yeah. So let's go. Oh, where is it? Yeah. It's Did not on the map. Truck out? It's... Yes, there's more trucks. Let's skedaddle. It is a new truck. I am pulling up the rules for cars. Chapter 4. All right, the, let's see how hard it is to steal a truck. If I remember correctly, it's a thief's tools or tinker's school trick to hotwire a car, which none of us have proficiency in. Not even Aberforth? Nope. One second, I am looking. No way Aberforth's not trained in thieves' tools. That's like a base rogue proficiency. Yeah, no, I wasn't allowed to not choose thieves' tools, so I do know how to use those. Do you have them? <laughs> uh, maybe. Yes? Inventory. Aberforth has never put anything down so far this campaign. Let's see if he has them. He does! Hooray! Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and make a Thieves' Tools check. Dexterity. It's either Dexterity or Intelligence, whichever you're more comfortable with. Sorry, I must have been confused by the fact that he's... I must have been confused by the fact that he's never once attempted to pick a lock. <laughs> um. So it's just Dex. Do I get proficiency or no? You're proficient with these Tools, aren't you? Yes, okay, so it's just going to be dex plus two? Okay. No, Your plus three. It should be way more than two at level five, yeah. Hey, yeah! Hey, you get it! Hooray! Aberforth hot wires oh. the truck. <laughs> Another classic adventuring ability. Yeah. Look. That's the least oh. of the rest oh. of the world. Awesome! Happened. Dude, Abe, I... Wow, you really, really, man- you really managed to charm the spirits that live inside of this beast. My favorite part has to be that Daphne had to see Aberforth fishing out the thieves' tool from under the bundle of broken glass from that window he took. From <laughs> <laughs> Kalen, 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 I know you said you want to take alert on uh, when we hit level eight. I want to make the argument that you should take skilled. And just grab four random fucking skills off of the list. And just be like, of course I know how to do this. What adventurer wouldn't? <laughs> I want one of those skills to be religion. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's <laughs> just a whole party where everyone but the cleric is proficient in religion. Yeah. Where is this? Let's look at this. I want your reasoning to be, Daphne, you've taught me so much about religion. I've learned so much about religion. Eberforth drunkenly slurs at Daphne. (laughs) (laughs) 
So you just do this every weekend? Do you call it religion? <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Well, I've been religious all my life then! I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff about, like, preserving our culture and mythic history and stuff like that, but I never really paid attention to that part. Favor for it's drinking wine instead of mead. He's a Protestant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it is wine. <laughs> see here. Who is sitting where? Well, I feel like Aber Forth. Uh, actually, should I drive or no? Is it drive dex based? Yes. It yes. Is. Then Aberforth should probably be the driver, even if he's not trained. With his big old feet on the gas pedals. Uh, he's using rabbit hop to push the accelerator harder. <laughs> the accelerator's just a straight stick that pokes the elemental real hard. Go faster. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yo. Okay, so do you, is everyone on the map? Do you see? Yeah. Oh, yep. oh you wait, you gotta zoom um, out. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Uh, go ahead, get anywhere you want to on the truck. Uh, anyone who's in front is in the cab. Anyone who's in back is like standing in the back of a moving van. Uh, so, so it's uh, a little, say, little so, rickety. I was about to say, so is this like like a box truck, or is this like one of those old school farm trucks where they've just got like wood, like <laughs> wooden posts coming out of the side to hold the shit in? It's a big oh, like old a, box like, truck, and it has the Janarthi Industries logo just slapped on the side of it. Like a oh. Track. oh, cool. So oh, we can't sweet. see out these sides then. No, you yeah, cannot. So you put all the range characters in the back of the box. You guys can go wherever you want. If you um, want to stick one of you guys in the front, go for it. I'm going to suggest that I switch with Ark. How many wild, people can... wild suggestion. Does anyone want to <laughs> be on top of the truck? That's how, many people can, how many people can fit in the front? Uh, it's pretty tight, and there's a lot of trash in there. Yeah, that 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 checks out. William, if Aberforth wasn't driving, he would definitely want to be on the top of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Just truck surfing. Well, I mean, go out. It, let's do it. it. Well, I mean, I'm I'm back here. I'm just going to continue my short rest. Um, okay, it's been a minute. Uh, okay, 14, just no. 1,400 rounds, I'll be good. <laughs> sure. Uh, so, you guys are booking it through the city streets. Uh, Daphne had a good good idea of the route that they were taking. Like, you, you saw the, the direction they turned off in, and yeah. you can follow. The roads in the, in the industrial park are pretty well planned, so, like, you can, you can make a reasonable guess. They're not, like, as bad as, like, a lot of the snaking, narrow corridors that a lot of the rest of the city are, but they're still not great. Um, but you can intuit pretty easily the route that they're going to take to get to the Sky Docks. And after a few seconds of just straight gunning it, uh, you do manage to catch up to about here before they catch, uh, before the guys in the back of the van, they have the doors kind of thrown open watching for people chasing them. Uh, before these guys like spot you, turn a corner and catch their trail, um, and they also start gunning it. Uh, so, what are you guys? Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Actually, uh, hold on. Let me let me clear initiative first. Yes. Yeah, she's done it. I finally did it. 30 initiative. Huzzah! <laughs> Oops, sorry. I was at one. I rolled one. I meant to hit my push to talk. Put me at three. Uh, you should have a three initiative. I see another 20. Yeah, our turret. Turret. Predict the initiating. I would redeem a critical hit hype, but it's got like a minute cooldown. It does. I don't like to get spam. Alright. Something that cheap. Alright. So I don't know. Alright, how... so so at 
we're sorting this at max speed. Like you were gunning it, and now they're gunning it as they saw you guys pull up on. Uh, so I believe max speed for these carriages is thirty-five miles per hour. Uh, you guys are going about thirty-five right now, and you can. You can like really gun it. Like you can push this thing a little bit faster than 35 by making a drive check. And it gets you about 15 feet closer. Okay. Uh, however, is- however, if you fail the drive check, you go out of control. So there is a risk reward thing going on. Okay. So the risk is we could go out of control. The reward is the only way to actually advance this combat encounter. Uh, it's not the only way. Like, you could just outdrive them. There will be things that, like, get thrown in your guys' way that you have opportunities to, like, do better than them at. There are complications mm. that happen. Take the dodge right. action. You'll have advantage on deck saves. <laughs> <laughs> do I, like, as as a player, do I know what the DC is for driving, just pushing it further? It is a 14. Oh, it's 14? It's not super hard. Yeah, so I have like a better than fifty percent. So, chance. so, so the real question is: Is this a you know, you succeed, you go forward fifteen feet; you fail, you fall back fifteen feet, or is it like the if you fail by five, shit starts happening? It's uh, it's just you become out of control, which means his next turn, the only thing he can do is try to regain control. Oh, okay. And if oh. if if he does get unlucky and a complication happens at the start of the next round, because that's completely random, I roll for that. Um, he will also auto fail that complication. Hmm. So so if he tries to gun it and there's like a surprise turn up ahead, he could end up going straight into a building or something, which is not great. But they have the same problem. Like that's they have to make that same decision where like do we try to gun it further to get away from you guys but also risk driving straight into a building if there's a surprise turn ah yes the classic reckless driver's dilemma yep (laughs) that's literally all that is just drive so recklessly that you get additional ground well i wouldn't have made it to this age if i played it safe i don't suppose daphne has guidance i do oh cool can Daphne see me? There we go. Daphne's right next to you. There we go. You know what Daphne's version of guidance is, right? Yeah, getting sloshed. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah. We're going so fast, there must be a lot of adrenaline going here. Calm your nerves. <laughs> well then, I guess I will not gun it this turn, since I should probably wait for Daphne to actually do the buff. So, not doing it. Okay, after Aberforth is Arcturus. <laughs> you have that guy targeted already. <laughs> What's Arcturus doing? You can climb on top of the car. It is... I was I was gonna ask, would it be possible to, like... So You said, like, this is a moving van, yeah? Yeah. So, is Can't it possible you. to, like throw open, like, the back door and then, like, hold on to something and lean out the side to, like, throw a spell and then just get back into the truck. Sure can. Awesome. Make sure to check the distance of your spells, though, because we are very far away. Oh, yeah, no, I currently, I cannot hit them with anything. Yeah, I, I have very limited options. We need... We need a uh, we need another like forty feet before I can do anything. Um, but the uh, these trucks have like rolling doors, so the they they roll up and overhead. You don't have to worry about yeah. them being in your well, way. No, I was just wondering if it'd be possible for us to like lean out the back and like, because like what like where I'm standing on like this square, I still can't, I shouldn't be able to see anything. But like flavor wise, can it be like I'm standing there, but Will's like leaning out the side? Yeah, you can you can be here too. Yeah. Uh keep in mind if these guys have ready to actions starting next round when they see that you're shooting around corners, it could be dangerous for you. No, I've got a shield spell. I'll be fine. Audio check. Can you hear me now? There you are. Yes. We can hear yes. 
literally no setting was changed in my system. It's just not working. Weird. You rolled a one. Yep. So I was trying to find out why doesn't Abe take the reckless driving as a reaction to trigger when um, you get guidance. It does work that way, right? Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't. I didn't know that was an option. No, yeah, you, you, I'm you could, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really save you any action economy. It means that he gets to do it instead of Nothing. not do it. I mean, I, if we're allowing that, I'll do it. That makes more sense. I just didn't know it was an option. Yeah. And I am going to go ahead and get on top of this vehicle. Great. Are you, uh, give me a... are you trying to stand or are you staying prone? I'm staying prone for now. Okay, it's an athletics check if you're prone, acrobatics if you're standing. And if I fail... Uh, don't fail. <laughs> I shouldn't be raging any longer. Um, so you have a 24 or a 16? Both work. Yeah. yeah, you're good. Rage. Here we go. And yeah, go ahead and give me prone. Oh, yeah. Or don't. You don't have to, because I'm just prone for now. Yeah. But you probably should, because they're going to start shooting arrows at me. They are going to start shooting. Go with X prone. I start shouting, witness me! Witness me! It, it is quickly lost in I the mean, wind. Are you sure you want to do that? That generally doesn't end well for the guy shouting it. No, that's a, that's it only goes louder. He's got his it cupcake goes... spray, he's fine. Yeah, it only goes really bad if you replace one of your arms with a dragon. Okay, Arcturus is prone on top of the truck. Uh, these guys' turns. Uh, they, they will indeed witness you. Um, they're not super worried about the crazy orc dude up on top of the car yet, so instead they're going to target the car itself and try to get some damage on that car. That's a one. Uh, how many of these shots do I get? I get two. That guy for that guy was holding the arrow backwards. Yeah. And an eleven. Nope. Uh his arrows just kind of ping off the car. It's literally an armored truck. It's not armored, but it is just a truck. Um I mean its name is armored truck, all right. Yes, armored automobile. Mm -hmm. It is literally an armored truck. Uh, that one doesn't do enough damage, and that one misses. Okay. And I'm not doing anything for them. William, what do you do? Uh, well, I've, I've got really... Wait. Shoot a firebolt backwards to make us go faster forwards. Cast haste on the car. <laughs> so... That's a thing. So, does the car count as a creature? Sometimes. Would it count as a creature for Shield of Faith? Yes. Cool. You want to give it more? Oh, you want to give our car more AC? Yeah. Yeah. That way they don't. Yeah. That way they don't blow us the fuck up. Give the car a moon faster. That's a good idea. Are Are you calling on yours or the cars? (laughs) I'm calling on mine. Bunch of raw ore shows up to, <laughs> well, to like, defend I'm the just, truck. I'm just thinking about it because, like, the all all cars are canonically powered by living spells. So would it be would it be the caster of the spell? Is that the car's dad? Maybe. It's just Divaga. It's, there we it's, go. Has he engineered this portion of the weave? It's powered not by a living spell. It's powered by a living, like an elemental, right? No, it's a living spell. Uh, there is literally oh, okay. a fireball that has been given life in a glass tank in the front of this thing. I really, 
it's only a first level spell, so I'm not really sure I could like pull this off. But I'd really like it be flavored as like you see like three armored horse riders appear in front of the truck, riding as fast as we can to take arrows. I'm fine with that. Yeah. After William is uh, Daphne. Okay, Daphne is going to turn to, uh, is going to turn to Mr. Bristlecone. Don't worry, Mr. Bristlecorn, you've got this. Totally. Absolutely nothing but unshakable faith in you. And you know what? I don't have that in everyone. These fuckers, they couldn't do what you're doing. No fucking way. There's a reason you're in the driver's seat. There's a reason you're our goddamn boss. Everyone, we have a changeling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Abra Force just like, Thank you for your kind words, Daphne. And he reaches over, opens the door, and kicks her out. Yes, and that and that sudden sense of confusion over <laughs> that sudden sense of confusion over Daphne's identity has given just given him just enough pause to really focus on driving. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Confuse him into Ma- competency. Yes, master manipulator. Anyway, you got guidance. H- have I actually been guidance? Yes. Uh, hang on. No. Oh. There we go. There we go. Boy, I sure hope I don't get shot and lose concentration. <laughs> Did that before oh, take that you, reduction? Wait, yeah. It, that that just gives me concentration of guidance. Hmm? You click the concentration well, spell, not the from... effects. Right now, Apple no, is the one concentrating. Yeah. No, I, I see no, what no, you no. have. Yeah, no, there's only one effect listed. Yeah, it's so that's just the concentration on it. I'm fairly sure it's just going to have to be like, oh, yeah, Guid- like, guidance you have a D4. Guidance isn't coded correctly, so you, you just have to add a D4 to a roll. Yeah, just roll it and, and then just roll a D4. Restarted. So Your could computer you restarted. Please. Oh my. Could Zoot please do my dex plus proficiency plus 1d4 for the check? Yep, 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 yep. There it is. Okay. Uh, Dex plus prof. 15 plus 3 is 18 plus 4 is 23 plus a d4 is 27. You got a 27. The front of the truck pops up and he does a sick-ass wheelie. (laughs) You gain 15 feet. Hooray! I am connecting as quick as I can. It's not quick. Don't worry about it. That was really quick. After Daphne is the wheelman who, while concerned that you're gaining, uh, is not going to try the same sick techniques that Aberforth just did. This is showing us as being farther apart. Shouldn't have. We it's were not. Like, we were 155 feet from me to the back guy. Now we're 140 feet from me to the back guy. Yep. Here, it's your turn now. Yeah, from where I was, it was 160. We're now at 145. So, like... The inside of this box truck, is it smooth or does it have, like, stuff to tie shit down to, like, a U-Haul truck? It's like a U-Haul truck. This is, uh, this is for, like, moving crates of freight, so they'd want to be able to tie that shit down. Alright, so I'm gonna grab hold of one of those, and then I'm gonna grab a hold of Will's belt, because I see him starting to lean out, and okay. trying to get a shot off, so, in case something happens, he doesn't fall off the fucking truck. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna give you advantage on... Uh, I want gummy. Acrobatics checks to not fall off the back of the truck should, should something happen. Oh, good, because I'm not trained in that. Uh, and I will. I need like two seconds. I got to get the goblin a snack, and then it will be Epiphor's turn once he loads in, anyways. Wee. Well, you know, I was really worried this driving thing would be difficult, but it seems like a breeze. I see why everyone's doing it. You know what they say about old rabbits and new tricks. They're really easy. What tricks are for kids, silly rabbit? How dare you. That's a slur from my country. 
what the city we're in Daphne we're trying to make sense <laughs> <laughs> you're right I even I didn't like it I'll never do it again thank you okay uh you ready to go I'm in the server, but it says characters don't exist yet. I mean, okay. I'm going to make a cup of coffee while you load. Okay. All right. While we're waiting, you all wake up in a tavern. <laughs> don't the kegs are empty. Start. Don't the fucking kegs, start. The kegs are empty. The musical act is bailed on you, and you've got to open in an hour. What do you do? <laughs> You all can deal off of the walls of a tavern as true adventurers. Recursive Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm. It's like a fractal. Dungeons, drive-ins, and dives. <laughs> I'm just gonna head on down to the pub, grab a pint, and wait for the whole thing to blow over. Dungeons and dive-ins and dragons and... <laughs> and exactly. And Escape dives. from Flavor Town. Escape from Flavor Town. All right. I exist. I can't. Uh, if I just click on this, will it load the map? No, it will load picture and tokens. All right. Well, you, you emerge fully formed from the tavern keep's forehead. <laughs> okay. So we are doing this. Let's. Shit, there's the road. Yep. Oh my god, zoom to fit, please, for the love of god. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so I guess we will... I'll roll the dex plus proficiency and then just roll a 1d4. Oh wait, uh, my Oops. bad. Uh, it is the start of the round. Let's see if something crazy happens. Oh, okay. Uh, did Fortunately, you... I'm in control. Roll that d12. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Three, nothing happens. <laughs> That's a sound. <laughs> That's a sound bite we need. Hooray! Uh, let's try to advance again. How badly could it go? Not that badly, apparently. Yeah, it looks like it went pretty good. Hooray! Game it. Coming for you. And that's all Aberforth does. Aberforth is gunning it. Arcturus, you're prone on top of this car. It is slowly gaining on them. Um, apparently I just moved the truck instead of me. I moved everything. Yeah, but I tried to move me. Ah, I quit. And I moved the whole truck. Yeah, don't do that. Um, what the hell's happened? It's supposed to be at 125. You've transformed and rolled out. Yes, truck, I know. I tried to move it's myself. supposed to be, but now everyone has been consumed by the truck. We are now <laughs> part of the truck. He's more than, she's more truck than man at this point. Part of the crew, part of the truck. I laboriously, so without moving the entire truck around 5, 10, or 15 feet, pull myself forward to 5 feet. On top this of this one, truck. Is this when we discover that this truck is actually a mimic? <laughs> I hit you with the old mimic truck. Oldest <laughs> trick in the book. The Drenarthi figured it'd be easier to it'd be easier to spend cure spells in, instead of hiring actual mechanics. You <laughs> fell for the classic blunder. Excellent. Now that I'm 120 feet away from them, uh, I probably can't throw javelins while prone, can I? Uh. I don't think there's a rule against or it. Or will I have disadvantage? Uh, you'll probably have disadvantage because of the range. I know. Do you have dis 
You have disadvantage on ranged attacks when prone, I believe. I don't think so. Oh dear. I don't think it'll matter because you have I'm disadvantage. Attacking. You have disadvantage on melee attacks when prone, but you have advantage against melee attacks coming at you when prone. That's the he's trade off. Gonna, he's gonna have disadvantage because he's at max range. Oh yeah, that no, that's that's the that's the disadvantage. Yeah, <laughs> a javelin's range is thirty one twenty. So, so like so like prone isn't necessarily like you're laying on your stomach. It just means that you're not like on your feet able to defend yourself. He, he could be he just like on a, his knees, like with oh. one hand on the ground. He dropped a twenty for that. It, it, it still hit. I mean, it's still not a great position to try to throw a javelin from. No. Oh. Look, terrorist doing work. It hurt him. Hell yeah, it did. Uh, you get two of those, don't you? Yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and count my lucky stars that I managed to get one off here. I mean, you're losing the javelin regardless. That's true. Oh, why the hell not? That's why not, you see. I was right. I think that wasn't going to be next turn anyways. Yeah, like, it's not like waiting was going to improve your chances. Uh, so this jackass is throwing spears at me. So let's, uh, let's respond in kind and start shooting arrows at you. Uh, that misses because you're prone. Um... Javelins, get that it right. Hits, but it doesn't crit you because you're prone. Fix the image. And the other guy That's also loses two arrows. That's what I imagine uh, Arcturus just did. Oh, whoops. He's still shooting at the car. Or, he's still shooting at the car. That misses. Screw you, car! Nope, roll two fours. And still in the front seat. William, it's your turn. Well, I'm uh, going to focus on keeping those riders ahead of us. Okay. Because I've, I've got nothing that can reach them. They're doing a good job. They're, they're blocking attacks and stuff. Yeah, we have to get another, like, ten feet forward before I can actually start shooting. Get on it, Aberforth. Daphne, what are you, you up to? Step f what, do you, what do you have? He's he's in the truck. It, yeah, the only, the only way he's getting a shot off is if he pokes his head around the the, uh, the outside corner of the truck. Yeah, he's stuck in that square. Because uh, there's no way in fuck I'm climbing on top of the truck with uh, you know, <laughs> with Will's impressive physical abilities. You got a ten strength. You'll be fine. And and Andy has another dude with a ten strength holding onto his belt. Oh my, yeah. that eight strength. Yeah. Anyways, it's Daphne's turn. Uh, Daphne is going to keep hyping up uh, Aberforth so he can hopefully try to keep getting us closer. All right. You're, you're, about, you're about knee deep in Beholder Burger uh, wrappers. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's it. That's not my turn. There is a smell, yeah. let me tell you. Yeah, Steel it's Man. not ideal. Ideal scenario. Steel Man's still not confident in his ability to like outdrive you guys. Here, uh, you still just holding the belt? Yeah. You know. Let's see what happens. Uh oh, something happens. Uh oh. Uh -oh. As you guys are Cat gunning, as you guys are getting it down the street, uh, there is a uh a group of. Uh, more of those like mono drone things that you saw climbing out of the sewers, and you have to swerve to avoid running straight through them. Um, uh oh. So a man is pulling his cabbage cart across the across the road. Once you know it, as soon as he gets to the middle, the wheel breaks. That's that's <laughs> the thing. 
All right, so this guy, uh, the guy in the lead needs to make a DC 14 drive check, but since he's in the lead, he has less time to react to it, so he actually has plus two to that DC. Uh, and I'm not trained in drive because I'm just a dude. Oops, I rolled just twice. With a regular job. With a regular job. Uh, six, so he fails. Uh, he's not a great driver. Uh, he fails, so his truck takes damage like it collided into a medium creature. Uh, you guys don't need to make the save because he just slammed into it. Because he just cleared the road out he for just, us. He just cleared the road for you. But yeah, he just drives through like a small crowd of those mono drone things. Goody. Uh, this thing is two or more sizes smaller than his truck, so it doesn't stop, but it could take some damage. With Does he lose control? Uh, it depends if Let's he fails his mark. drive save from the damage of the truck. If the truck doesn't take enough damage to overcome its regular durability, then he just kind of ran over them and wasn't that big. Okay. There we go. Yeah, uh, it was going 35 miles an hour. We round down. It takes 2d10 damage. See if that's enough to overcome its dirtiness. Woo, 11. What is... what is the damage reduction of one of those carriages? 15. Okay. Nope, he's fine. A little more damage. He'd have, he'd have been in trouble, but he's okay for now. Aberforth, it's your turn. All right, let's see if we can do another wheelie. Uh, it's three, and the one d four. Eh. Twenty one. Oh, you guys are booking it. Aberforth is getting every ounce of speed out of this car that he can. Uh, I need to go forward one more. Why he never bought a car one before. More square. Oh, my bad. Aberforth may, in fact, be becoming something of a speed junkie. <laughs> He's getting the bug. Uh, Arcturus, it's your go. I'm gonna flip the bird at them. <laughs> but I'm so holding my last two javelins, because, yeah. Alright. I want to repeat of that, a 20 and a 1. Uh, we are going to repeat our last round with some more arrows. That misses. And that hits. Nine damage. And the other guy's going to keep plugging out the car because he, he thinks taking out the car might be the better option. Nope, that misses and that misses. William, it's your turn. Oh, cool. Would you look at that? Uh, one of those guys about to take Firebolt. Oh, no. So, yeah, William leans out with a with a mode of fire in his hand, just fucking hurls it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh I think I saw the auto carriage. Yeah. I mean, doesn't matter. My other one, I rolled a three and a one. Yeah, that one misses. Uh, and then he gets back into the into the truck. All right. After William is Daphne. Okay. Well, I hope because those guys are about to get hypnotic patterned. Uh oh. Yep. So, uh, Daphne, um, hmm. how would she do it from this far away? She. <laughs> this is what she does. She leans over and reaches for the horn and starts tapping out a <laughs> just a really nice danceable rhythm and is hypnotic uh, to concentrate it is you will lend guidance for that i thought he'd already he's already used it oh okay yeah he's already used the guidance i just cast guidance lasts um, for a minute though yeah 
but it only lasts it lasts a minute un, or until it's used and he used it so i'm no longer concentrating need con, i no longer need to or are concentrating on it oh yeah we've been it, using it's... it yeah it's it's weird the way that it's concentration for the caster you cast it on someone and then you concentrate on it until the d4 gets used it's it's so that you can use guidance in things like social situations where like you cast it before initiating conversation without telling them so that they don't know you're doing weird guidance magic and then in any case any case uh this this uh rhythmic pattern seems to like uh the the lights so the it's as if a light inside of the van which is already dark because it's night but it seems the shadows like grow even deeper and these like pulsating rave lights (laughs) suddenly appear inside the space of the truck. The flash in the high beams. Uh, yeah, just, just for a moment. And this uh, the swirling hypnotic music and lights appear just for a flash. Um, and then I guess I... Can I center the... Hy- can I center the pa- uh, area of the hypnotic... moving... Can I center Hypn- it on a moving target? Um, You can put it on the floor of the truck, and it'll stick to the floor of the truck. Okay, that's what I want to do. Um, it's a thirty-foot cube, so it's going to hit them all of them, no matter what I where I put it. Uh, so hypnotic pattern doesn't go around corners, so it's not going to hit the people in the cab because there's like a wall uh, between the origin of the pattern and them. No, it 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 says creatures within the area. It doesn't say anything about line of sight. Yeah, but the basic rules for spellcasting say, like, if there is a barrier between the origin points of a spell and a creature, they're not affected by that spell. Hold on, I can mean, I you just c- can I put center- it in the cab. Yeah, I mean, can I center it within the cab? You don't have line of effect to the cab. Okay, um... Why so don't what if you just... center it, it on the it doesn't on say, the roof? It doesn't what if you say, center it on the Go ahead. It doesn't say anything about line of effect. It just says I can put it anywhere within range. Yeah. It's not gonna reiterate the rules for spellcasting in every spell. That's all at the beginning of the chapter for spellcasting where it says targeting and placing spell effects. Alright, fine. Um, I don't oh, why don't we hear do... me out then. What if you put it on the roof of their vehicle? It's a 30-foot cube, which means the people in front are going to be looking through their windshield, and they'll see it above them, and the people in the back are going to be looking out the back, and they'll see it. I mean, I if we could get a little you closer, do... I could put it right in front. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't we just try to gun it once more, but this time we go, like, five feet closer, and then we just move to the side a bit, so you can see into the cab from the side. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've... All right. Well, can I just cast guidance then again? Yeah. Go for it. Sure. I'll do that. Sp- spells that break those rules will specifically say it. Things like fireball says that it goes around corners. Okay. That was Daphne's turn. Casting guidance. Real man, uh, just realized that he's not as good a driver as anyone could have hoped, so he's definitely not going to try and gun it. Uh, Yuri, you still holding on? We're not getting anywhere real fast. Uh, yeah, this part is a little bit slow. I was about I'm to say... gonna, I'm gonna lean out. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Oh, perfect. Mwah. Oh gosh! Do I hit him? Do hit the auto carriage. Congratulations, your speed is slowed by ten feet. That happens. <laughs> Howdy. That hits. Ta-da! I don't think you're actually able to do any damage to the vehicle, no matter how hard you try, unless you crit. I don't care. I'm gonna slow them down now. Hits. Yeah, They're I don't slowed. think he's going for the damage. He's going for the gap closing. 
helpful. I mean, it's definitely helpful. Yeah, no, you, your blast slowed the car down pretty good. Um, oh, is it just 10 feet? Uh, it's 10 just 10 feet. feet. Oh, okay. yeah, Lance of Lethargy doesn't stack. Give me my 10 feet back. All right. I, uh, no, I still, I still slowed you 10 feet. Yeah, I moved you back 20. Well, I moved them back 20. No, I was... Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I, it was 115, not 105. All right, so... I rolled a 10. So you guys hit a patch where the road is, like, incredibly shitty. Um, It's loose cobblestone already for the most part, but, like, this place... um. The, there's like a bunch of cobblestones missing. There's like a really rough patch of dirt and stuff that you guys end up having to drive through. Uh, this guy makes his drive check. And he fails. So now he's out of control. That's great. Uh, and... Uh, Aberforth should be making a... Yep. Drive check. Aberforth, go ahead and make oh. your drive check. It's a DC twelve. I... Well, and I think I did it. That's a nat twenty. <laughs> awesome. Uh, also, anybody who is concentrating on a spell needs to make a concentration check. This is incredibly bumpy road. I'm not uh, concentrating on a spell anymore. That's what? Just a straight con save? Uh, yeah. It's a ten. I hope this is going better for the other. Uh. Roster. The I'm assuming the writers disappear. Yep. Bumpity bump bump bump. That's all right. They did their job. They did do their job. Aberforth, it's your go. Well, that makes this more dangerous. But what's adventuring without a little bit of danger? We advance. I was about to say we're we're in range. We're good. Uh, no, gotta, we're not. You yeah. gotta stop the pilot. I, move, I would like to move forward one and then sideways too so Daphne has a better shot at seeing into the cab. You can move Caddy Corner. Um, okay, cool. So the other problem I just realized is uh, if, if they have the if they have windows know. if they have windows on the front on the cab, it doesn't matter if we can if I can see in because they're still solid windows, so they would block line of effect. Yeah, you can't we're, cast it into the cab. No. If I can't cast it into the cab then I can't yeah. cast it on the driver. What spell are you talking? Hypnotic Pattern. Spell. I can't cast any spell on the driver. Hi hypnotic, pattern, on, on, hypnotic Pattern only cares it, if you can see the effect, right? Well, yeah, all you need to have if, with, a, with, no, with no, casting a spell through glass is you need to be able to see point of origin if the spell originates from that point. If it originates right, right, right. from you, no, like Fireball but, can't, you know, Firebolt, it comes from you to that spot. But like putting an illusion in the middle of their truck. Just works. Casting him on no. a pattern in the middle of their truck just oh. works. Casting no, it command just works. No, it doesn't, because that's exactly what I wanted to do last round and I couldn't do it. Um No, you, you need so to be able to see my, the origin point in order to get it to be inside of an object. Yeah, I, I could have put it in the si in the middle of the truck. Yeah, it just wouldn't have hit the driver. Right. So what I'm saying is I could put a hypnotic pattern to the side of the truck but it's not going to hit the driver because it's not going to put him in the area because the area doesn't spread through solid barriers. So they have to be, it, it says any creature who sees the pattern, any creature in the area who sees the pattern. Yeah. And if I put the, so if I start the spell outside the truck, it can't spread the area into the truck, making them vulnerable to the spell. Yeah, you need to so bust the, the windows first. Yeah, that's the point I was trying to make. The only way I can cast anything on the driver is if we break the window. That and also I... just put the spell inside the truck if you can see through to it. Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, you, you can cast it into yes, the truck you if can. you want. Just the hypnotic pattern so, will only hit the two people in the cab. So, okay, just to clarify, I thought you were saying that you can't put a spell through a solid barrier. You no. can't put the, what you can't it can't if you cast the spell yeah it barrier. can't expand through the solid barrier you can cast it through it though if you if you can still see inside if you can still see where you want the spell to originate from you can cast it there um you just can't cast it like on the hood of the car and then have it expand into the cab because the cab is closed okay so it's still we'd have to like get up alongside them or close enough where she could see into the cab yeah yeah. Right. 
Exactly. But okay. because the point of origin is the space you designate, i.e. that one inch corner of the dashboard that you're able to see when you get close enough. Okay. That is sufficient I, I for the, a, oh, the point of origination to start there. No, you can fill the, assume, you can make the inside I, of that cap a fucking discotheque if you want. I could have sworn you said I also couldn't put the point of origin through a solid barrier. No. no. Okay, well, in that case, can I see into the cab? Uh, if Noah lands way, two more Eldritch Blasts, yes. Or an, I, another Eldritch Blast, into the cab, yes. Speaking of seeing into the cab, we're supposed to be at 80 feet, not 75. We've been moved forward uh, 20 feet instead of 15 here. Uh, I thought I only moved you three. Uh, we were at 95, now we're at 75. I'm happy to move you guys back one. Yeah. The F1, just, yeah. Not going to let that happen. Well, I'm I'm just going to keep casting guidance until I have an opportunity. Alrighty. Daphne. What? Question. Yes. You still have your channel divinity, right? Yeah. If you place that on the hood oh. of the car, targeting not the driver, but his passenger, would the passenger try to get out to the thing? on the hood of the car, opening the door so you could see in better? Um, it can't force him to take any movement that would be obviously harmful. Oh, okay. yeah, it, it's, an, it's the closest, safest path. I don't think yeah. crawling under the hood of the car is very safe. Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah, Arcturus is doing fine. Also, the I'm pretty sure the range on it is like 100 feet. Which you would have. I'm at 105 at the very back of our car, and I can the from me to the the passenger is 105. Yeah, no, I mean, I yeah, I can. I don't see a scenario where that would be better. What I'm trying to do. Yeah. But I also can't do what I'm trying to do because I can't see. Uh, so I'm just going to cast guidance again. Okay, Arturus, it's your turn. I'm tired of face tanking arrows while not raging. <laughs> you gonna get angry about it? I'm out of rage. You're out you of rage. Despite all of my desire to be in rage, I am now just a rat on top of a cage. Oh no. <laughs> Take the dodge action. Roll frantically on top of our truck. Um but they already have disadvantage for me being prone, so... Yes. I'm gonna hope that Year gets out of the way, because I'm, like, combat swinging back into the truck here with my feet first, so... Uh, this happens. Watch out. And then I'm gonna stand right there and be like, yeah, it's getting a little pointy out there. Give me two seconds. Apparently, she's watching the wrong version of Loose Clues. So I gotta. Uh, All right. Oh, she oh. She decides no. she likes Josh much more than Steve. Which I think is blasphemy. I've made a huge error in raising this child. Gotta throw it out and start over. Alright, uh, so Arcturus got off, the, got off the hood of the car. I don't have that to shoot at anymore. Uh, let's try and shoot out the windows. Do that. We're just gonna have to hit and do any amount of damage, and all it does is bust a window. Hey, that hit. Do I do damage? Nope. Just plinking off the freaking windshield here. I turn on the wipers. Yeah. And the other guy. Any amount of damage busts this one. That'll hit. It would be nice if I like actually used my ability. There we go. That might do it. Hey, 15. He busts out the windshield. 
Still hanging out. William, it's your turn. You heard the windshield shatter. It took like half a dozen arrows, but that thing's busted now. Oh, no. Well, that guy's getting a fireball. Oh, no. No, he's not. Oh, no. I don't think a 10's going to hit him. Ooh. William lights a poor home on fire. <laughs> uh, after Will is Daphne. William hasn't, William hasn't murdered enough. Daphne, that was not safety glass. You are now sitting in a, in a pile of old hamburger wrappers and shards of glass. And now you have the wind in your face. I wish I could say this was the first time. <laughs> Place an area effect at a point that you can't see, an obstruction such as a wall between you and that point. The point of origin comes into near and is being on the near side of that obstruction. Okay. You have to, yeah, you have to have line of effect at the point. Or at least, like, a line of sight, a, a clear line of sight to it. I let people cast things through glass because I think it's cool being able to cast things through glass. I don't think rules as wit written actually lets you do that. I'm pretty sure it does, actually. Uh, unless it's, like I said, if it's a point of origin from you, then you can't. But if it's a point of origin from the space you designate, uh, then you can. The rule, Suki just, the rule Suki just read uh, says that if it, it doesn't say uh, an opaque uh, obstruction. It just says any obstruction. Yeah, it doesn't have any specific thing for if you're looking through glass. Yeah. Although technically, all it set, all of that hinges on whether I can see the point of origin, which technically means that the rest of the line doesn't matter if I can. Yep, yep. it can be. It can but be. That, but, you can cast it through a goddamn keyhole if you want. Okay. Um, can I see through? Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. I'd say that's that's close enough. You got a good angle. Okay, I do the thing I described earlier. They're getting hypnotic patterned. You fill the, the front of the cab with, with frickin' disco lights. Go ahead and have them make their saves. This guy's already out of control, so this could be catastrophic for him. Uh, well, I passed the save, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't the target. I forgot I... to untarget you. <laughs> yeah, no, they are hypnotic patterned. Uh, that is not both good. Both of them? Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, both of them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. So, there's, so the there's other a... one can't wake him up. That's there's no work. <laughs> <laughs> they were out of control, and we care about what's in their truck, Daphne. There is no one in control of this vehicle. They cannot regain control. And the moment that there is a complication that happens, this thing is having a horrific crash at top speed. I can't. And that's exactly the concern that I had, but I wasn't going to voice oh, it because. Hold on. Role hold on. It's not at top speed. They're going slower. Noah slowed them down. <laughs> It'll be fine. We got this. <laughs> And they can't speed back up because they don't have anybody in control to do that. Here, it's your turn. Oh, hey. They can slow down even further, though. Um, um, if if they were already out of control, then hypnotic patterning the driver isn't going to do anything, right? Uh, it, it makes it so he cannot regain control. control. He, okay. he doesn't even get the opportunity to do so. And if there's a I mean, complication, they're... they auto-fail it and they take the worst possible scenario. There. They're, they're, they're warforged are armored. They'll be fine. I mean, I can drop concentration at any time. So my hope is that they'll get closer <laughs> and then I can drop it before they get totally out of, uh, they completely total it. So, so you're, I'll, I'll let you know right now, uh, they auto fail any drive checks that they have to make. And if you fail a drive check by five or more, you crash. So if you hit the truck, and you do an actual amount of damage to it, they will crash. You'll just send that thing careening off the road with it. What is the DR Fif on a car? 15. You have to do at least 15 damage before it takes anything, and it takes the full 15 uh, if all you do is 15. Well, if I, no, if no I, if I, no I accelerating, then we can just wait for them to slowly come to a stop, right? Uh, it stays at a consistent speed. I cannot do 15 damage. Oh, great. Uh, you can crit. Go ahead with a 14. Uh, misses. 
17. Misses. Blink, blunk. That's it. All right, after a year is we find out if there's a horrific crash or not. Ah. Uh, 11. There's oh, a horrific no. crash ahead. Why, why, oh, why no. Are we, why are we 10 feet further back from them now? I haven't moved anyone yet. Or five, we're five feet further back than we were. We we're supposed to be at 80. You're the one that told me you were five feet farther ahead than you were supposed to be. Well, we were at 75, and now we're at 85, so it should be 80. I mean, you, it doesn't really matter. If, given if you're, maybe if you're, it's me. Maybe I'm moving. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. If you're going off your range, you were five feet closer when you were on top of the truck. Uh, okay. Anyway, 11 means everybody in the truck dies, including all the Warforged we're trying to save. Is that correct? Uh, so there's heavy traffic ahead. Oh, yay. Like heavy traffic. Uh, you guys are getting closer to the uh, to the gate. And uh, there, there's uh, there appears to be some kind of uh, backup, uh, like like uh, like you know, traffic is backed uh, is backed up a little bit as they're trying to funnel through the gate here. Um, you've been pretty lucky so far because it's late at night and traffic is really light at nighttime, which allows for like these fun little car chases to happen. Uh, but you've arrived at the gate, and <laughs> there's traffic now, and. He can't control his car. So even if he was in control, he would he would automatically fail this check. And he, like like even if he wasn't hypnotic pattern, he would automatically fail this check. Um Yay! Murder So he crashes. That's the spirit, William. Uh he crashes into the traffic. Uh you go ahead and give me a DC sixteen drive check. To, uh, okay. to slow down to the speed of traffic, uh, he is careening into it. Like The traffic is moving, but they're definitely not going 35 miles an hour. Oh, <laughs> no! The best time. Right. <laughs> so failing the check by five or more causes a collision. I have <laughs> that written in the book. So are you guys ready for our next adventuring group? <laughs> I have been for weeks. <laughs> All right. So both of you guys crash going full speed into cars as large as yours. Nailed it. And we're just going to roll 10. <laughs> and that's the amount of damage everybody fucking takes. Uh huh. I'm glad that Arcturus is out of rages, too. <laughs> and I'm glad that I saved a spell slot from Mass Healing Word. All right, well, will so you be both vehicles take 33 damage, which is nice because these things have a pile of hit points. They're not totaled yet, which means they don't explode. Uh, and then you guys need to all give me constitution saves as you are just like jostled around in there like crash test dummy. People in the back of the truck have disadvantage because you're not sitting. Oh, okay. Oh. Eleven. Uh, I should have, but I didn't. Oh, it's only up in. Oh, uh, actually, I was much more forgiving than that. Uh, you guys only take three d ten bludgeoning damage. It is much nicer being inside oh, a car that God. crashes than outside of, uh, than being the one the car crashes into. Zach, if we had taken that thirty three, I would have died by one. I would have died. Uh, anyone who failed the check takes twenty three damage. What was the well, target we, number? Uh, the DC was 16, right? Uh, the DC is 12 plus the strength mod of the car, which I believe is 3, so 15. And failed takes 23? Failed takes 23, success takes half. Alright. Oh, can he, can he dodge the crash? No, so, it's not an attacker. So, so here's the fun part, alright? The Warforged in the crates, I'm going to give them the same stats as the minions you guys fought earlier. Half of 23 oh, so is 11. <laughs> They're okay. Oh, yeah. goodness. Mission accomplished, <laughs> oh, yeah. guys. Oh, we're so good at our jobs. Uh, these guys are both going to take 23. 
Well, these guys have a lot of hit points. Uh, bah, 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 bah. 23, 33 damage. You take 23, and the other guy takes 20. Cool. Um, I cannot stop this from moving, but the car chase is done. Uh, and you guys are actually, like, here as you guys have just, like, all crashed. Smash. Boom. Uh. Okay. Where is that before? I have vanished. I'm uh, pink mist. All right. Uh. That's how that round starts. Aberforth. You just went to crash into the back of another car. Uh, your movement has ended. <laughs> this car is not moving right now. What you're saying is I need a new car. Uh, the car works fine. You could back it up and move it around some more. Like the, the front of it is pretty crumpled and the, the jars good and cracked, but you could pop this thing in reverse and keep going if you wanted to. It is a sturdy piece of steel. This 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 thing does not have crumple zones. These are all like heavy steel vehicles. All right, nineteen twenties, but... baby. <laughs> so, can I like? Am I actually in range? I don't see a range thing at all. You are where you are. Oh, it's because I hadn't clicked on me. Okay. All right. Do I have any penalties to trying to slap the shit out of the passenger? He has three quarters cover because he is still like in the car, and the only thing you could really hit him through was the window. But okay. there's any space? Is there anything for stopping him from getting out, throwing open the door, and giving that guy the call to adventure? Just the action economy. Oh, I I need to make a concentration save. Or oh, oh for hypnotic, for hypnotic pattern. pattern. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So I took uh twenty three damage. So half of that is half of that 11. rounded down is eleven. Yep. Okay, and I have advantage because Warcaster. What a beast! Yeah, that's the reason I took it. You guys have your you, you guys have your rebreathers on, right? Because you are still in the Drenarthi district. Yeah, of course yeah. we do. Yep. Good. That's why every time our characters have been shouting at each other, you've heard it sound like the pyro from Team Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I have maintained concentration, so the driver awesome. and the the two people in the cab are still uh, hypnotized. What does three quarters cover do? Uh, minus five. Oh, okay. So let's just do that then. That's why it's We're minus two on. and minus five at the bottom, because that's cover and half cover. Well, that's half cover and three quarters cover. But... Okay. Yep. Perfect. You get a bonus action. Yes, I do. Also minus five. Redial of Adventure. <laughs> hey, that hits. Um, what is Hypnotic Pattern doing again? Uh, the driver and the other person in the cab are both uh, incapacitated until so someone the, until someone no either crit. yeah so until someone either jostles them awake or they f take damage. So Which I guess I'm, they just did. You're would just that, doing regular damage. Would no, they have I'm taken damage from the crash? Is, yeah, I already, I already I, yeah. yeah, they took damage from the crash. Will okay. I be able to use sneak attack or no? Uh no. Okay. And here's regular damage. So they're awake because they took damage from the crash, so you can stop concentrating on the spell. I automatically stopped concentrating on it when they, uh, no, it's not affecting anyone. Well, I guess not, right? Because I could still be concentrating on the cube. You could, yeah. but it doesn't affect people that enter it, do they? Just put on a pretty the, light. The cube show flashes point. and then disappears as well. It appears okay. for just a moment and then it disappears. Oh, yeah, that's All right. right. So, no cube. Oh. Is that uh, it for Aberforth? Yeah. That's it for Aberforth. All right, Arturus, it's your go. Hello, boys. Hello. I, I've not been having a good day. Uh, he's still prone. Oh, good. He's prone. No, 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 no. You still have the you still have the prone condition. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I. 
I, I guess anybody oh, in the I back see. of the truck should be prone. If they failed. I'm going to make them prone. Fine for me. Okay, so, yeah. Um, you stand up. Who cares? 15, 20, 25, 30. Bonus action to be aggressive. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about your move. You're a nork. A nork. I'm a nork. A nork. 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 The lamest of the Pokemon. And this... Yeah, exactly. And this fucker's still prone, right? Yeah, they haven't had a turn yet. They're prone. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Actually, I'm not going to bother putting it on you guys. You're just going to stand up on your turn. That hits. Ouch. It also hits. He's not having a good day. I now, after attacking, pause to look around. Are there witnesses? Lots of them. And people are freaking out. Uh, they're not getting out of their cars because they don't have rebreathers and they're not going to like get into the poison. But like you can see like people... Uh, traffic is just like stopped completely despite people at the back like fucking panicking because they want to get the hell out of uh. here. That raises a concern. The cars we crashed into. Did did any of their windows suffer any issues when two moving vans slammed into them at maximum velocity? Uh, they're pretty banged up, and yeah, some of the windows broke. These people, they, like they own rebreathers too. They live in the they're in the Janarthi district. They probably purchase rebreathers. So, like they're not gonna fucking die from the poison. Uh, I'd okay. be more concerned about the fact that these regular people just took twenty three bludgeoning damage. They're probably dead in there. Hey, they could have saved. They might have saved. Commoners still only have like 12 hit points. 10 hit points. They have, like they have four. They have four? Oh, they have well, then, four hit points, yes. Then, then they are very dead. They got rear-ended at 35 miles an hour. They're donezo. Oh, right. That's a lot less witnesses. In, in, in a vehicle pre-seatbelts, pre-crumple zones. <laughs> You, I, you, they were just sitting in a steel box that just got rattled really fucking hard. Commoners shaken, not stirred. We're heroes. No, heroes. we're adventurers. Can't you, can't you see how difference. heroic we're being? Uh, this guy stands up. Daphne, I'll have you know hero and adventurer are not synonymous. Uh, I'm gonna stand up. Uh, he draws his short sword, because using a bow in melee is not a good idea. And we're gonna try and short sword you. Oh, I'm still targeting the car. Whatever reason. Target Arcturus instead. Does that have advantage? Why does it say you're flanked? You're not flanked. I'm well, not. It also says he's targeting the car still. What car are you targeting? says he's targeting the Arbalest on my screen. Uh, his targets are all... Oh, I have the wrong guy. Alright. Alright, so 22 hits. And he does 5 damage. I get 2 of it. Second attack. Rolling a two. Guy, yeah, he stands up. And he also pulls his sword. He's getting ready to fight off this orc. That'll miss. Second attack. Hits. For nine more damage. Uh, this guy is going to open the door and he's going to get out uh, and he's going to disengage. He does not want any part of this anymore. Uh, this has turned into a utter shit show. Oh, 
five. He is just booking it. William, it's your turn. Uh, is that guy going to have cover if I'm standing there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have half cover. There. Ooh, that hits. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be it for Will. And then Daphne. Can I shove past Abe to go out the driver's side door? Sure. Um, it's going to cost you an extra square movement, but yeah. That's fine. I've got 35. And then it, it, how much of it to get out of a car? Uh, it's, no, it's nothing to get out of the car. It's half your movement to get into one. Okay. So five. And then. It's 15 to get there. 15 to get in. Yeah, and then 15 to climb inside. Right. Uh Okay. I'm going to uh scramble <laughs> scramble over uh Aberforth's lap, uh haul ass out of the car, jump slide up in sidle up alongside this guy, get real close, grab him by the grab him by the collar, look deep into his eyes and say, Flee. Get the fuck out of here, bud. Go ahead and cast it. And I'm saying I'm saying this with a with all of the like imperiousness of like a religious authority, but Wait. not in the normal like intimidating sense, more just like <laughs> just like <laughs> you should understand why you shouldn't want to be here right now. Do eat. Uh, he fails. He has had his brain case rattled pretty hard in the last couple of seconds. Um, <laughs> he, he's going to fucking leave. Imagine being this guy. Like you're just oh. you're there for a regular day of work, and then you start getting chased by a bunch of yahoos. The inside of your cab starts flickering. You drift off, and then there's a very loud bang, and you're in the middle of a car crash. And then a fucking <laughs> goat jumps into your cab and shouts, "Flee!" <laughs> With the voice of God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which which of the three crimes we just committed directly in front of a bunch of witnesses is worse? Would it be the automobile accident, the murder, or the theft of will? Uh the murder. Uh this guy books it like a bitch. Okay. Uh, uh year. I'm... Oh. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna hop in the driver's seat just to make sure no one else can easily get in. Uh, I believe you're out of movement. Uh, 15, 1, 5, 10, 15, uh, wait, 5, 10, 15. Oh, yeah, I am out of movement. No, you should, wait, uh, no, has 30, should, you have 35 I, movement I speed, 35. So, so I can just barely. Okay, uh, year, it's your turn. Yeah. I mean, command happens on his turn, doesn't it? Oh, it that's why I had him run, is because his turn was right after yours. Uh, okay. to, answer your, to answer your question, Kalen, uh, murder is the harder crime here. Theft of will is 10 days in jail and a flogging. Murder is 10 years banishment. Ah. Good. That hits. Hey, other than the people you ran into, you haven't murdered anyone yet. Ouch. You, you, uh, no, you heard it here, so. guys. Those guys guarding the door weren't people. There were no witnesses for that one. That's it. Uh, so no complications, because the worst of the complications happened. We're, we're in the complication. <laughs> you are the complication. Uh, I'm just <laughs> about to say that. You're fucking saying this right. situation isn't complicated? So, normal movement to get out, right? One? Yep. Mm. This guy's running. He He wants nothing to do with you guys. Yeah, so let's do that. However, in fact, the people once, in back. You yeah, once you get these fight. Ubers out of the back of the truck, you can just like get in and drive it the fuck out of there. One, two, three, four, five. 
And I guess we will use our last charge of rabbit hop. Uh, hoppity hop. Hop. And then, somebody needs a taste of adventure. Yeah. He tastes it. First, first they must answer the call. <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, he's near a friend of mine. Oh no. Anything but that. Adventure! Oh, you hit that guy. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to be trying to be non-lethal since we're directly in front of people. Alrighty. Never mind that it looks like you're robbing an, ar an armored car full of Warforged. I'm robbing it. I'm not murdering <laughs> and robbing it. There is, there is a distinction. Look, I like the... to think of this as pre-archaeology. Look, the critical rule is never break two laws at once. <laughs> I mean, th there's a difference between the Joker and Captain Cold. Yes. <laughs> and it's that line right there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for Abe. Oh yeah, you used your bonus action. Uh, Arcturus. You can see the way this is going. I suggest you leave with your lives. I'm going to say that, and then I'm going to also disengage because I don't want to die. That's a good idea. Uh, go ahead and give me an intimidation check. It's intimidation, but I'm just sort of appealing to their sense of intelligence. I'm just, I'm not very charismatic, so. Yeah, uh. Alrighty. Uh, after Arcturus. Well, they, they, they could fail. I'm going to have them make a charisma save with disadvantage because he's at less than half health. Uh, they might fail against my three. They might. They didn't, but they might. He doesn't have any plus to charisma, so like there was a there were four numbers I could roll where he fails. Uh, his turn. I uh, He's 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 thinking to himself, uh, we could we could still pull this out. I mean, you guys look worse off than we do right now, and they they are in a pretty safe position. You can only hit us from one side, uh, so let's hit Aberforth. Not flanking. I'm saying I'm flanking. Let me know if it connects because I do have my dodge. Okay, uh, five will miss and. Coral miss. Awesome. Uh, this other dude. Uh, he's definitely not going to risk that. I guess we're just going to keep attacking Aberforth. That's a two. Wow, I cannot roll anything right now. There we go. That's a hit. Ta da! Uh, my minimum damage. Uh, continue running like a bitch. He just runs into the crowd. William, it's your turn. Second verse, same as the first. Got more firebolts. Oh, to that guy? You're right, that guy. Yeah, that hits. So, say of the two of them, that guy looks like he was rock harder. You kidding ah, me? Still not dead. Are you kidding me? This guy is two health. Daphne, it's your turn. So there's no way to see it back into the cab. Uh, no, you can't see into the truck from the cab. No. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know that there's anything I could do here that would be helpful, except maybe. Uh, I can lean out and heal Arcturus, maybe. Ooh, that would be helpful. Heck, you could just run out and give him a good heal instead of a uh, healing word. Mm. I don't think you're. I, guess... I don't think you're in a position where you have to worry about people hopping in and driving off with the truck. I could. 
Or I can save the spell slot, because there's only one... But there's two who are still attacking, right? Yeah, I mean, Arcturus can't really, like, engage in the fight anymore in that state, so you could count your healing spell as whatever damage Arcturus does from this point on. I'd say, why are you trying to save spell slots? I don't... There could be another leg to this adventure, I don't know. Could be. I... I I generally try not to heal people who aren't down unless it's like a very specific situation. So I'm just gonna pass turn. You know, after Daphne is this dude who is also running like a little bit. In fact, we're just gonna get him off the track for now. Uh, that thing stays here. Um. That hits. Ouch. Bad, because I want to slow this guy, too. <laughs> uh, that definitely hits. And that guy turns into goo. That's it for year. Aberforth. Well, end this poor man's life. Yeah, <laughs> trying to talk the man into leaving now doesn't seem like such a good option since no, not when you just slaughter the dude next to him. Yeah, him. yeah. However, now that he's no longer next to a friend, I have my rakish audacity to fall back on. Oh no! Oh, that misses, unfortunately. That's sad. But well, you always try redial. There's always, there's always the redial. Hey, the redial hits. Ah, uh, ta-da! Yeah, no, he dies. That's so how you killing him, or are you knocking him out? <sighs> okay. Mm. Might be better to kill him since he might be able to identify us. Yeah, yeah he at just this point. <laughs> Good thing none of them ran away. I mean, you aren't they exactly maybe. You want it to be the easiest to identify because you guys all have the rebreathers on. Um, if you remember the the picture I was using for the dude that was driving, that's kind of what you end up look like, looking like when you have a rebreather. Oh, okay. On. See, because I was about to say, oh yeah, we won't be hard to identify. We're just a rabbit man, a goat woman, a, a half orc, a, a tiefling, and a human. Like they probably know yeah, your species, but they don't know your faces. Orc. Yeah. I Sorry, mean, they can probably, orc, My bad. They can, they can probably tell that I have horns, but for all they know, they I could be a tiefling. You could be a tiefling with goat ears and goat legs. So do we want to just jump into this truck and just drive off with it? So do we uh, want to just call it yes. a night because it's a, like half hour past? Yeah, we're a little past. Uh, we're going to call it there, guys. Um, you guys oh, hop right. in the truck and just fuck right off with it. Uh, nobody has arrived to stop you yet. So. Yes, we do. Good yeah. yeah. That will catch Woo-hoo. you folks next week. See you next week. Good. Good, Good session, guys. Good night. Good session, guys.